everyone, and welcome to Monster Prom! Woo! Hi, folks! <laughs> this is so crazy! We've not done this before, this so thank insane. you so much for joining us today. Um, I am Gina, this is Allison. I am Allison. Uh, and today we are going to play through Monster Prom. Um, because so, you guys voted for it. Yeah, because you guys voted for it. <laughs> There were some votes for like The Last of Us and some other things, but I'm kind of really glad that it landed on I this. I did too, because I was kind of like a little bit disappointed that I wasn't going to be able to play it on the channel, but now I get my chance, I'm so excited. Well, and what was kind of, kind of sad was that like, you were almost on the channel. We recorded one episode of Monster Prom with you and then just yeah. ran out of time, which was yeah. really tragic, but today sad. we're going to be playing through an entire run of Monster Prom. Um, this is, I... It should be, given that the gallery's here, the, um, the fucking hot summer update, uh, oh, which yes. expanded a couple, I think there's new endings, there's a gallery, there's, um, like, new outfits, I think? Oh, right. Nice. Yeah. Wait, outfits for the player characters? No, for, like, the people. Like, oh, I think there's okay, new okay. events and things like that. So, anyway, we're gonna jump in. Um, the way this is gonna work is, for right now, we're just gonna play through the game. Um, and then at certain points throughout the game, uh, we asked you folks to send in, like, Q&A questions to get to know us better and just things that you might want, uh, like, be curious about. Mm -hmm. um, so at the end of each week in game, uh, we'll take a quick break, answer a few questions, and then jump back into the game. Yeah, that sounds cool. Good. Yep, and you guys can ask questions in the chat too. We have it open, we can uh, mm -hmm. answer those live as well, so. Absolutely. Yeah, that sounds um, great. Final thing before we get started, two quick things. One, Oh my god, we hit 5,000 subscribers, and I just wanted to thank everyone from the bottom of my- my- Thank you guys! Beautiful heart. Um, because I honestly never thought that was gonna happen. Like, that's not me being modest, I just really didn't think it was gonna happen, and this, like, the past couple of weeks have been, like, a revelation. I don't know, it's been kind of crazy, this we've been is, freaking out. This is just something we do for fun, yeah. and we love that now we have people who want to have fun with this now yeah, as we well. Yeah, we just want to share with you all, and it's it's, yeah. an, it's amazing. It's astounding. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, second thing, thank you to Julian and Evan, who are off camera, but are you no less them. amazing. They're, they're doing big thumbs up. They're doing uh, awesome. <laughs> yeah, they're fantastic. They, uh, they helped us set up the stream today. They're doing, ch uh, like, tech. They're running the chat, and also, um, they helped make the wonderful graphics that we had at the beginning of the stream. So, Thank you to them. They're um, awesome. Thank you guys. Yeah. All right. And with that, I think we can get started. Let's so two players, this. full game, uh, share controller. Yep. We'll go back and forth. Okay. Do you want to? I guess we can go we'll through do, this. Yeah, we know how like, monster prom yeah. works. Ah, spooky high school. The sweetest years of our lives. Nope, I don't care. Okay. Who do you want to be? I want to be the Frankenstein girl. Yes. I don't remember her name. Uh, she is oh, whatever you want to name her. Here you go. Oh man, what do I want her to be? I don't know. The question is, do we use the Roscoe naming convention? Do we use the bafflingly superstore naming convention because we were super uncreative that day? Well, I just um, I just finished watching The Good Place, so I was actually going to name it Eleanor. Yes, that is such a good choice. Can you do lowercase or no? That show is my favorite show. Oh, it's over there. I think I've now watched it it's nine times? so good. Something like nine times. I think nine I've watched, times? <laughs> I think I've watched it more than I've watched Holy The Great shit. British Bake Off. I am set in my ways. If I find something I like, that's all I do for Holy a really long shit. time. Actually, that's fair because... Oh, I've spelled it. Oh. It's your Eleanor. <laughs> Elior. That's fine. Uh, where's the end? How's so, uh, the alphabet work? There you go. Okay. Spell your name, Allison. Spell your it. name. Okay. Eleanor's not my name, so. <laughs> okay. Um. I. Okay. Well, if you're, uh, I guess I can't be. Is that how you spell Eleanor? No, I I'm don't know. I wasn't sure. As you were going through it, I'm like, I'm not. I think I've forgotten how to spell every name I've ever known. Yep. Um. I, I've completely blanked out now. So. Um, I guess I don't want to be Franken Man or not Franken Man, Zombie Man, because then we would be the same two characters short one I always played as. So I'm actually gonna be Oz. Yeah, I think. Do it. Do it. Do it. Um. Hmm. Frick. Well, someone on um, on Twitter mentioned that Oz, I guess, is supposed to be Fear itself. So I'm gonna name him what Fear the itself. Fuck? I don't really? know. I don't know. I was looking at that and I'm like, I'm not sure if this is real or a joke or I if I some, missed this. I saw some really good fan art of him where like he has a mouth and it opens up and it's just like teeth like down oh, his neck. Can I neck. not space? I guess we're just gonna have to do it like this. Fear, Fear itself. <laughs> It's good. It's good. Don't question me, Allison. Uh, I'm not questioning you. I'm letting it happen. Um, yes. 
It looks like it's for It's just good. It, the, there the we go. The eye kind of looks like an L, but that's fine. Yeah, um, it was a mistake, but it's one that yeah, I'm committed to. You now. did it. It's good. <laughs> um, all right, so I'm gonna go ahead and say that I don't have a plan. Um, I was thinking about ahead of time. I'm like, is there somebody specific I want to go for? And I have zero plans. So no, here I, you go. I don't either. And I can't decide if I want to like bolster you up and be a good friend to you, or if I want to be super cut. I think it's gonna come down to yeah. the, the moment. But oh. um. So, democracy is just broken. What would the best way of choosing the leaders of modern society be? Uh, let's see, uh, whoever can play the most heartbreaking violin solo wins, okay? Uh, we create a reality show called America's Next Top President, where the candidates compete in all kinds of physical and mental challenges. Voter turnout would increase and we would turn a profit on it. Oh man. <laughs> I think we've gotten this one before. Oh really? Yeah, so now the question is, do I go with what I did let's before? Let's see, what's or? this last one we'll here? Uh, you put all the candidates in an empty room, with a wild grizzly bear. Whoever kills the bear should be our president. If everyone dies, then it's obvious the bear should be the president. Um, I think that one. <laughs> oh, shoot. Because I was about to say, I think I just decided what I'm going See, for this, I, I this time. Gonna, I was going to pick this one, but then once I read the bottom, I'm like, fuck, it's got to be the bear. Mm -hmm. um, to yourself. All right. <laughs> Damien, I'm coming after you, I think. <laughs> I think that's what's happening. I've not actually gone after... Oh, no, that's a lie. I didn't, we like, want to... Yeah. Did we go after Damien, like, in a, our own game? I think so. Screen? Yeah, that yeah. was, like, at a party one time we played. Yeah, through, yeah, but, we were like, a bunch yeah. of friends and we... We actually played the game as intended. Yeah, as a, a bunch... party game. Yeah, as a party game. <laughs> Who knew? <laughs> um, okay, uh, school is outdated and lame. We need a new school subject, ASAP. Critical thought. I mean, damn. This country could really use a subject like that in its schools. Oh. Um, <laughs> turning people okay. into puppets through emotional warfare and deception, 101, and how to correctly punch a crocodile without terrible consequences. Oh wait, this is me. Oh this shoot! for me. Well, did you want to go for that one? Well, now I'm going to sabotage All you. Alright, go ahead. I'm, I'm closing my eyes. I won't know. There you go. You don't know what I picked. Oh shoot. Oh, now you do. I no, do. you don't. Okay. I don't, actually. Awesome. Great. What's the sexiest type of knowledge a lover can have here? Uh, let's see. Sports things. How to make a killer cocktail out of anything. All the principles to build a financial empire, okay? Obscure 80s movie trivia, uh, how to set stuff on fire, lyrics to all the Disney movies. Oh. So here's the problem. There's my real answer, and then there's answers that appeal to characters that I have not dated yet. <laughs> yeah, I can, I can see where these can line up with certain things. Um, let's yeah. see. I think I'm gonna have to say, mm. <laughs> I don't, I don't know. know. I think I know what I, I, I know which one I have to do. I think I Which, like, to... boo, because the correct answer is lyrics to all Disney songs, but, like... I mean, that's great, but I think I gotta go with this one, Killer Cocktails. Oh, um, right. Yeah. I'm gonna do how to set stuff on fire. <laughs> Fucking fine, Damien. It's you and me. Yeah, I knew that was the poly option, but uh, that just... That's great knowledge. It is, in fact, great so... knowledge. Oh, oh God, yeah. I keep... I, I, so keep I, you keep taking the control I know, me. I've always been first <laughs> because fine. of my... Tendency to do exactly that. This is so <sighs> weird. I have I hands off. Pick. I'm just gonna sit here, like... You know, just jaywardly looking That's off fine. to the side. Just look up. Just, just look off screen. Mm -hmm. All right, where should I go first? Uh, bathrooms. Oh, there you go. Yep. Perfect. Um, class is boring. Back. We shouldn't go to class first. Um, okay, so stats-wise, the question is, do you want to go ahead and lean in on smarts, or do you want to up your your charm in order to get it kind of into working order? Oh, yeah, let's see. It was a bold. I'm mostly bold. You're very fun. bold. Fun and money's eh. My charm isn't great. Creativity is pretty blah. And then I'm smart and bold. Um, mm -hmm. Hmm. I think I might want to up my charm a little bit over at the auditorium. Is that where you get charm? Um, I think that's creativity. Charm is the uh, the what gym. The, the gym. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's, that's where you like make your lifelong friends and things like that, which is weird. You know what? Whatever. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> I don't. That isn't the line with my where experience. Where did we go? She's so cute. <laughs> She's, She's so freaking cute. Uh, that day, an epic dodgeball oh. match takes place. Everything seems lost, but you deliver an inspirational speech that fuels your team's spirit, leading to a spectacular comeback. Uh, you're clearing an, you're clearly a natural-born leader. Mm. Oh, you gained plus two charm. All right, who's here? Who's it gonna be? It is difficult for me to put into words how much I wish you could, like, date another character, like, another player character, but even if they're trying to date somebody else, Damn so it. it's like, <laughs> if you win in seducing them, then they fail in seducing whoever you're going you just up. end up yeah. with each other? Exactly. I think great. it'd be really fun. It'd oh, be a very man. specific way to like, sort of, like, play PvP. Yeah. And it's yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Party game, dating game, whatever, but I'd love it. Uh, okay. Oh, oh, Scott and Polly. Yeah, Scott and Polly pull you aside, one of them holding each of your arms. Whoever's go whatever's going on, it's serious. We need your help, bro. 
The midterms for AP jump scare. Oh wait, AP jump scares is coming up tomorrow, and we're so unprepared. We tried everything we could think of to get ready. I rolled up the textbook and smoked it out. That's really, really productive, yeah. Polly. And I hate my and I ate my own homework. <laughs> Look at his face. He's my favorite. <laughs> but nothing worked. <laughs> We've only got one option left. We gotta cheat, bro. We just need to figure out how to do it without any without messing wait without messing with the teacher. Oh, he doesn't he doesn't want to piss off the teacher. Okay, that's fine. Okay. Or mm -hmm. with uh, or with messing with the wait what is or with, with messing, messing with the teacher. This is so weirdly written. Yeah. One. I hate to say <laughs> it's it, fine. but like okay. Either way, if you could help us, that'd be I'd be super grateful. Mm -hmm. uh, that's all the incentive you need. You hook them up with your ultimate cheating technique. Oh boy. Uh, just take the test like normal, then use this time <laughs> use this time machine to go back and change your answers. Uh, write all the answers on teacher's on the teacher's face. He'll never see them there. Oh no. Um, for this group of people, shit. Is the top one smart? That's uh, the real question. Which is bad because I've got probably the smarts for it, but like, does that matter for them? No. Okay. So it seems like this is one. Uh, these are always weird. You have to have whichever one you have your higher stats for. Yeah. So like, if your smarts are higher than your whatever the other one is, right, because, then you need to go with that one. But, but this might be bold, and my boldness is pretty high. What do you think? Oh, you make a really good point, actually. I was thinking of it as fun, but it could be bold. It is a very um, strong move, yeah. for lack of a better way of putting you know, it. I'm gonna go with that. Okay. I'm, okay. Yes! Oh, oh, well done. Oh, yes, 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 yes! Mr. Giant Stonehead is like 99% face. It's perfect. And I've heard he sleeps like a rock too. This will be so easy. I love the teachers in this game. <laughs> Principal Giant Spider is amazing. And now we Does have- Does he show up? No, well he like talks. The, I know the gym teacher shows up. Yeah, Principal Giant Spider shows up in certain scenes, but he doesn't have like a like a picture. Oh, he's just okay. around, gotcha. but he's amazing. <laughs> oh man. That's uh, but isn't this vandalism? Coach says winners don't do vandalism. No, silly. It's only vandalism if you're doing it on a not alive thing. Uh, this is makeup artistry. Aw, <laughs> make a mental note of it. Uh, oh, you can make a mental note to never let Polly do your makeup. You gain plus two fun and plus one smarts. Yay! Mm -hmm. It worked. Fear itself. Fruit slough. Fruit slough. Fruit Um, okay, I'm gonna go to the library and get some money. Look at um, you! Wait, yeah. <laughs> your face is pasted on. <laughs> that day you spend your time in the library's PCs, mining some bitcoins. This is supposed to have something to do with solving algorithms and the rise of cryptocurrency. But you guess that nobody actually has any fucking idea how it actually works. Anyway, you gain plus two bitcoins, <laughs> which is equal to two million dollars, which unfortunately is equal to two monster dollars. So plus two money. There you go. Okay. You got Who's money. gonna show? Damien and Liam. Yes. Oh man. <laughs> yes. Fuck yes. Uh, Let's do okay. This. You notice Damien and Liam arguing as intensely as they are stupidly. <sighs> You're not unique. I'm fucking unique. Huh, you wish. I'm unique as a, like a snowflake made of flash frozen tears. This fucking hat. He's amazing. Oh, that, are these these are, are the summer, summer outfits? outfits. Oh my god, he <laughs> looks. Liam actually looks great. He kind of looks actually, like a, a tan from like uh, the um, queer eye. Like, oh my god, he yeah, does. there was some outfit yeah. he put yeah, together. Right. Yeah. I like Damien's look too. Like, it's, it's good. Yeah, it's specific, <laughs> but it's good. Uh, well, I'm unique like a snowflake made of flash frozen. Fuck you. Okay, that's actually a good comeback. Yeah. That I'm so really unique. Good. I eat garlic with every meal. Whoa! Oh, that's <laughs> big, <laughs> big deal. I'm so unique. I've got a tattoo of the baby Jesus on my ass. Yawn. I'm so unique. I let my victims suck my blood. Weak. I'm so unique. I go to church every Sunday. This is really good. This is I so really good. Like hey, I do that too. Uh, I'd do that too if I wasn't allergic. Would not. Would too. Bite me, Alucard. <laughs> Don't tempt me. <laughs> Stop a loser. <laughs> this could go on forever, and if it does, you'll never get the church. church. Which I meant. <laughs> okay. Oh my god. It's okay. <laughs> this could go on forever, and if it does, you'll never get to smooch either of them. Uh, it's up to you to put an end to this debate once and for all. You suggest they decide the issue by oh number of Instagram boy. followers and tomb robbery contests. This is pretty uh, transparent. Yeah, but but the question is, are they tied to stats? Because if so, Ooh. it being transparent doesn't really matter. Uh -huh. Um, but I gotta try, right? I gotta try. Are you going? Well, who, you going for Damien? Yeah, or, or at least at this current stage I of the guess, game. I guess, but Liam, right? 
I adore, I think I just like doing his voice, which is the real problem. <laughs> He's really fun. Team yeah, robbery. You do his, oh, okay, there <laughs> we go. <laughs> Team robbery. That's extremely problematic. You expect me to defile the remains of my undead brethren? Just to win a contest? Whoa. Sounds yeah. rad to me. I rob tombs all the time, like for groceries and shit. <laughs> That's where I got my pet talking skull. That thing hates me. Well, I won't do it. I have principles. <laughs> You touched a nerve with him. I know. Yeah. <laughs> uh, looks like I win so by default sorry, then, bat boy. Now, if you excuse oh, no. me, I'm going to fuck up some ancient graves anyway for laughs. <laughs>, <laughs> You'll probably be cursed for generations for giving Damien the idea, but at least Damien likes you. You gain plus two creativity and plus one boldness. Nice. Yourself. All right, three places. Oh, everybody chooses an object. object. Uh, uh, say your choice out loud to the rest of the players before clicking. Object. Uh, the seal behind me. Okay, that's fair. Yeah. Squishable seal. Yeah, um, squishable that's seal. a pretty good object. Yeah. I'm gonna go with umbrella. Okay, umbrella yeah. versus squishable seal. All right. Uh, genies used to be found in lamps. Um, player <laughs> player orders de decided. On oh, okay, based squishables. On how likely, um, yeah, clearly squid. Yeah. You win. Congratulations. <laughs> <laughs> because like. Can you imagine? Can you imagine what comes out of that? It thing? would be amazing. Like, it would be like I am here to grant your wishes. Jesus Christ! <laughs> Better than Terrifying. an umbrella. Although an umbrella is thematically appropriate and a major pop culture thing at the moment, which so you know, like that's yeah, not a little too would, on the nose. Yeah, was like it can't be an umbrella. Oh, but that's good. The Adventure Zone would sue. Yeah, so. that's, that's that's way too on point. Um, okay, <laughs> are you going after Polly? Get her out of that umbrella. Um. I guess you you spend time with Polly and Howl, or you could go chill with the Slayer. Oh man, or the um, shop. or the shop. I I have no reason to go chill with with Liam or Miranda, but I also kind of wanted to go like talk to Vera, just in general. Uh, that would I don't know. That I haven't interacted feel with her super at all. Productive. It doesn't. Yeah. And I don't have a lot of money, and I don't have a lot of charm. I don't know if she needs charm. Mm -hmm. me, but I think she does. Oh. Uh, Are you looking off camera at like noise or? No, I okay. was looking at my stats over there. All right. Yeah, I'm good. Uh, I might as well go to this table. So, all right, let's do it. Uh, you approach Scott and Polly's table to find them crouched behind a pile of jelly desserts, plotting. Thanks, Bruce. Uh, oh, thank Bruce if you're here, bro. Come on, join our huddle. That's that's a look, <laughs> Scott. Wow. That's a lot of yeah. <laughs> Okay. Oh, and Polly's look too. They both are like rocking. It's right. a whole lot. They also match. Which yeah, is I was very... just about to say that. Is it the same shirt? It's almost the same shirt. It's not quite. It's but not they do quite. Match. But like, yeah. Oh nice. man. Um, maybe you're curious about our huge pile of jelly jam gelatinous dessert cups. I don't know why I said dessert. Really dessert weird. cups. Dessert cups. <laughs> Sorry. Well, wonder no more. We're going for the jelly prize. Yeah, we're gonna win it. If we collect the foil covers of the 100 jelly desserts, we'll be the luckiest winners of- lucky winners of- One free jelly dessert! Ah! I love them. Can we just watch <laughs> these two so talk good. for the rest of the game? But well, considering I'm going for one of them I guess now, that's I guess true. probably. Um, so I just want, like, an event where it's both of them and we can spend oh, all our time that with them. That would be great. Uh, but right now we're stuck. We only got 99. That means we need- need- one more, Scott. We need one more. We need one more! <laughs> uh, you'd give them your jelly dessert, but you already threw it at a bird person you hate. <laughs> Guess you've gotta make a choice. Poor bird person. <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> oh man, he, he's just, he's had it rough. Um, he has had a very difficult yeah. life. Uh, let's see, steal the final jelly dessert from the jelly dessert factory. Uh, make like a puppy dog and beg. All things are sweeter when achieved through pity. Um, Oh man. Are you going for Polly or Scott? I guess is the real question. Oh, I have to decide, I guess, here. Oh, shit. Um. Oh man, I don't know. Polly's a lot of fun. Polly Scott is, a lot is of also fun. a lot of fun. They're both just like super cool, right? Um. Well, let's see. I mean, this one seems like it would align me with Scott. This one seems like you're lying with Polly. I think, I think you can say that with some confidence. Yeah. So it really just comes down to the pick. Polly, let's do it. We're All going. right, let's go. Who isn't stealing? Wrong. No, Scott, that's a myth. Like hangovers in the afterlife. But if the afterlife isn't real, why are you a ghost? 
There's no time for metaphysics, Scott. We've got a heist to plan. No, Coach says stealing is wrong. Unless you're stealing a ball or a base or a victory from the jaws of defeat. Oh my god, he's so upset. He's so good. I kind of feel bad now. No, actually, it seems like sports is mostly about stealing. Yeah. Well, that settles it. Time for stealing! <laughs> one fake bus, one real wooly mammoth, and a brutal running gun battle. Uh, you finally secure one illicit jelly cup. <laughs> Which you turn in along with your 99 other jelly cups for one free jelly cup! I'm so proud of you. Congratulations. You've done I it. I did it. You've done it. These are the things that matter in, in like Monster High. They, um, actually, so are. they actually are. That's they true. That's, that's like not even a joke. That is in fact the only thing that matters. Uh, Scott is too, upso too upset by all the violence, so you split your free jelly cup with Polly. Worth it. Sweet. Me. There you go for yourself. All right. Hmm. hmm. I have seven money. Yeah. Seven money. Because I could do this, which sounds but like a lot of fun. But you could also go to the store. I could, which is like, I don't know what's Can available. Can you sell the store in the store? Like, so you only get money by, like, by doing Bitcoin? By mine? How do you get money in this game? You get money by going to the library. Okay. Um, and occasionally during lunch events, like if I went and chilled with the Slayer, I might be able to get enough money oh, for something. Oh, okay, okay. I'm actually just gonna see. I'm gonna pop my head in and see. Okay. Like, most of the stuff's not terribly useful at this time, but like, whatever. Uh, Let's face it, you're probably going to end up losing your money to some stupid in some stupid way anyway, so why not spend it here first? It's called just being smart. I mm. really like her. I like her a lot. I like her design a lot too. Oh. Holy shit, I'm that's too right. poor for this! You unlocked Shoot. that! I forgot! I wanted to see if I could get this. I could get a corpse. I wanna see if I could get this or a badass. Well, I guess who are you going for? Well, I haven't Damien, really established that yet. Damien, but Zgord would be fun. True. Yeah. True. But I didn't go for money in the opening thing, so that's why I ran out. Yeah. Um, um I'm gonna get a badass tattoo because that'll help me with Damien. Oh, right? that'll totally yeah. help you with Damien. This'll pay yeah. out in the that's long run. That's great. Let's go. Cool. Nice. Alright. Let's trade places. Okay. Uh everybody chooses something cool. Say your choice out loud to the rest of the players before clicking. That's so relative though. It is, but then again, I once said a pet rock as an answer <laughs> to this. So like I really I don't think you should be I'm limited. Gonna say Permafrost. Oh god. <laughs> Fucking what am I supposed to say to that? I can't. Does that mean I won already? I think you won. <laughs> I'm I'm gonna say I abstain and you win. I guess, oh, or you so lose sad. by default. I wait. Okay, player orders decided based on how important it would be to bring the selected thing to our first Mars colony. I don't care. I'm doing. Let's random it. I don't think you were. That's decided. a weird one. I didn't expect that. I didn't. Actually, yeah. you put, what, did you even say something? No, I said I abstain. You abstain <laughs> from going to the Mars colony. Yes. And therefore I live. I kind of like that. And therefore live. Go I'm first. No, I'm I'm randoming it. Okay, okay. I like the fact that you came up with permafrost. <laughs> Okay, there you go. Again. All right, there fine. You go. All right, let's do this. Ferxy. Guys cast. Oh, okay, so we're now we're in... Nearing the end of, end of week, week one. Okay, let's evening. Go. Good evening. Uh, where are we going? Here. Uh, uh, did you want to up your charm again? Did you want to up your creativity, your smarts, your boldness? You're officially going after Polly, so fun might be a good thing to go ahead and up. Yeah, that's true. Which would be it's the tree. In it's the, the tree outdoors. Yep. That's like the rave. Yeah. Yeah. Look at it. It's all glowy. Yeah, let's go rave. Hell yeah! <laughs> that day during recess, you start a half-hour rave that goes full crazy. You have no idea how it escalated so much, but at one point there were like 300 people. Uh, someone summons demons from a nightmare dimension. The consequences might distort, distort the fabric of reality itself, but who cares? It's a rad party. Uh, you gain plus two fun. How did you have a half-hour rave? I feel like. It's like like, it's like a flash rave. Yeah, I yeah. guess a flash mob slash rave. Yeah, right? Okay, yeah. that's cool. I'm into it. Uh, later you see Polly floating around, her ghostly glow less ghastly than usual. Oh, oh no, Polly, she's sad. Oh, oh, she's sad. Oh, no, what's wrong, Polly? Oh, hey, Eleanor. I'm just hovering a little low today. Everyone seems so hyped about love, and I love being hyped, but I'm not really sure how this love thing works, you know? I thought, <laughs> I thought I was in love once. I met a beautiful girl at a party and felt this strange magic. My temperature rose, I even flo I was even floatier than usual. Everything was so bright and beautiful. I was ecstatic. Oh my gosh, this is really cute. I know, it's really it's sweet. Sad. And I know it's gonna end oh, terribly. No. What? But then I remembered that I had taken little literal ecstasy, oh, yeah, so it's probably just that. Oh. oh. Okay, Paul. Or, or oh. she just- But that's also kind of-
kind of sad because she's I know. like, I thought I was in love, but it was just the drugs. <laughs> oh no! That's really sad, Polly. It's kind of sad. So it's, it's oh, also sad man. that this was a big enough moment for you that you're telling me about I it. Know, like, right? This is a major moment in her life. <laughs> Classic mistake, am I right? Totally. <laughs> I've had some pretty good highs, um, but they say being in love is the greatest high of all. The next time I'm on a, I'm on a date with someone, what can I do to fall in love? Uh, or float in love, since gravity doesn't actually affect me. So you can either Ooh. be a manipulative shitbag and say, here's how you should love oh, me, no. or... <laughs> Oh, you don't want Polly to fall in love with another person, yeah. but you like Polly just too much to not help her despite the consequences. Uh, scientifically speaking, people fall in love faster when afraid. <laughs> Do something fun with them, like getting stabbed. Uh, stare deeply into their eyes for 14 hours. Mm. Your fun's pretty high, and getting stabbed does sound like a lot of fun. Yeah, so. Wait, my, oh, so my boldness yeah. and fun are both nine now. Yep. Actually, that's... Actually, that's your stats are all pretty good. Cool. That's pretty good. Yeah. Um, no, she's, I mean, she's gonna be like, eh, that blows. Um, yeah, I'm so. <laughs> it's not a good time. Yeah, I'm gonna do this. Oh, so gee. smart! Yay! Ex Wait, smart? I guess. Really? I mean, oh, your okay. spots are pretty That's high. Fine. Yeah. Which means the other one must have been either creativity or charm. I Which guess charm, maybe? Good thing I didn't do that. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Right. Uh, OMG, great point. I love science. I mean, I don't, but I love it when it gets me drugs or gets me laid. Loved. Not laid, loved, in love. <laughs> with that, Polly disappears, literally, and begins her quest for the terror that is love. She catches up with you a few days later. Hey, so I went on a Tinder date <laughs> the other night with this super cute humanoid, and I took him to get, <laughs> and I took him to a getting stab party, just like you suggested. It was awesome. He was so terrified. It was like, <laughs> wait, <laughs> it was like each time a knife entered him, he got more scared <laughs> and more in love with me. Then the date continued because he bled out and died and became a ghost and we had even more to in common. Oh my god, Polly. <laughs> like, I'm over this it now. This is really distressing <laughs> Holy to me. Shit. I don't know why, but we like, just, I'm actually we a little- We just made her go kill him. Yeah, we, we inadvertently <laughs> killed a person. Oh shit. <laughs> like, this is terrible. Like, I'm over it now, obviously, but I'm <laughs> pretty sure I was in love for like 15 whole minutes. Next I time, love I'm this video game. So good. I love this video game <laughs> so much. Fucking, you killed a man. The fucking writing in this game is just something else. Kudos to the writers on this oh, game because man. holy crap. They are fantastic. Uh, next time, I'm going to try and work my way up to 25. Polly, in love for 25 minutes? Maybe the next time you, <laughs> next time we'll be with you. Maybe <laughs> you'll even make it to 50 minutes or eternity. That's Well, wow, narrator is like really getting excited for me. That's hilarious. <laughs> Either way, oh, you've opened man. up Polly's heart, metaphorically, to love, and gained plus two charm and plus one smarts in the process. Sweet. I'm really happy for you. Thank you. Congratulations. I, like, kind of really killed that. Yeah, it was good. I'm really happy it was, with that. It sure was something. Um, yeah. fucking, um, I'll get a little bit more. Oh, shoot! I didn't see the cat there! Oh, no! <laughs> oh, no! Um, shoot! Um, did, oh no, did you just kill your round? I did. Oh, I shit. totally did. I didn't see the cat. I mean, you could be a total creepster and buy the blade tampon, but. No, that, don't that do does that. not that, benefit that me kills at all. Your staff. I'm just gonna leave. Sorry, cat. I think I've also, unfortunately, because I bought something from the cat, I can't even get the cat route. I'm so sorry. Oh, no. This sucks. <laughs> this is terrible. Oh no. All right, bye, cat. That, well, ooh, that was a that waste weekend. of a week. <laughs> but maybe we'll get you. Oh, no. Nope. <laughs> That's fine. <laughs> Who likes me? It's gonna be like, <laughs> Damien's like, I talked to this person one time and like, it was okay, I guess. And she wanted me to go rob graves. <laughs> oh, God. Um, you're practicing your moves against the invisible ninjas who are totally real and totally after you when you spy a much more visible threat. Yeah. <laughs> oh, God. oh, this is me again. Uh, yo, fuck hammer. I need your advice <laughs> about something. Do you know what the most powerful force on earth is? Stronger than anvils or swords or my nine pack abs? Can you throw me a bone? <laughs> I you think three, please, so please throw me a bone. I could be real mean. You could, but could it also be would be devastating. Mean. But <sighs> I've made mistakes. You are. And I have to live with those mistakes. I understand that. But also, can you please throw me a bone? I think I might be throwing you a bone here because okay, you kind of so killed so your last round. Yeah. Oh my god. I didn't realize that, like. That he could blush, that he could blush yeah. but he can. Oh, um, sweetheart. It's, uh, it's love, and I think I might just be in it with your buddy. Your, That's really your buddy Damien, because I'm not even sure I've like committed to this route yet. I you, guess I have. You spoke to him once. I did. Um, 
And sure, love is already hardcore, just because the I'm feelings so are so strong and that it's badass, but the love will be as doubly strong and badass if it turns out that Fear Itself is as hardcore as I think he is. His name is Fear Itself! He's super Fear hardcore. <laughs> he visits the shop when nobody <laughs> is. <laughs> and, of course, there's really only one way to judge a person's true soul. You know, uh, you know him pretty well. Do you know what his inner murder weapon would be? Um, duh, of course you do. By which you mean, you're happy to totally make it up on the spot. Uh, so now there's time to decide Fear Itself's fate. <laughs> Fun, right? Uh, don't be a dick. Unless you want to, in which case, totally go for it. Thanks, video game. Uh, let's see. Major cardiovascular diseases. Fear Itself is the ultimate murderer, the leading cause of death worldwide, <laughs> and something of a, some and something capable of catching up uh, to tough motherfuckers who have survived everything else. An electric chair! That's how boring Fear Itself is. He would just be a standard government-regulated death. Major cardiovascular disease. Definitely that Thank one. Thank you! There you go. Damn! Thank you so much. <laughs> I wouldn't have even thought of that. If a major cardiovascular disease were a knife, they would be the sharpest and deadliest knife ever. If they were a sword, they would be two katanas. If they were <laughs> guns, two swords. they would be an atomic bomb. That's not it. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, it's okay. <laughs> wow, a cardiovascular disease <laughs> was raging. Sword, be two swords. <laughs> He went, from, he went from one sword to two swords to two guns to a bomb. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, sorry. I'm um, just amused by this entire- Cardiovascular Master Disease is raging in fear itself this entire time and I never even knew it. Well, that's confusingly worded, to say the least. Uh, but luckily, since you were the one that started this metaphor, you know that fear itself isn't likely to die. <laughs> Unless they're dying to go to prom with Damien, in which case, Thank bam! You. You're welcome, Fear Thank Itself. You so much. You are so welcome, Juno. You are welcome, and you gain plus three bonus yourself. Also, you, you effectively made sure we didn't shoot this entire run in the That's point, so fair. I really appreciate it. <laughs> we're, we're keeping it alive. Oh, is man. Really what it is. Okay, before we do this, though, yes. um, I think we can answer a few questions. Yeah, that sounds great. I'm actually gonna take this out. Actually, I'm gonna do that too, yes, yeah, so I can. Oh, have man. The, the, there's people oh, in the chat. Go. I didn't know. Hi, chat. I mean, Hello. Hi, chat. Um, yeah, right. Sorry. Hi, chat. <laughs> we don't have a screen there. Good to see you what? guys. <laughs> um, all right. So it looks like a few people submitted questions during this. Uh, what is your favorite game that you guys didn't play for the channel? That's so broad. I play a lot of games. Wait, um, wait. Favorite game that you guys didn't play for the like channel? Like you and I playing together, do you think? Or us personally? Oh, that's fair. Let's yeah. answer both. Yeah. Just our favorite game that we haven't played on the channel and then our favorite playthrough. I've been in a lot, but I still have a few answers. Yeah. What is your favorite game that was played on the channel that you weren't in, I guess is the first. Favorite game that was played on the channel that I was yeah. not in? Ooh, that's hard. That's really, really hard. Um... I just thought of two Did answers you? for myself. Then you go first while I think um, here. Short answer is Tharsis. <laughs> it's a the lie. The playthrough of Yeah, Tharsis. I just yeah. want to be there. Yeah. They seem like they're having a lot of fun Seems is like the, like doing, the entirety of it. You're doing um, a great job. No yeah, kidding. that that playthrough is hilarious. Um, um, I really like the game Assemblance um, mm. that Short played like a while ago. Mm. Um, I have played that game and it's great, mm -hmm. uh, but uh, yeah. Part of me kind of wishes I was there for the genocide run of Undertale way back when. Oh my when. god, yeah. Like, way back when, because I heard all about it from you and your brother, and like, just how hard and disastrous that was, and <laughs> like, I, I, it was yeah, a very different time. Um, mm -hmm. The amount of work that we put into that playthrough, I think we realistically could not do anymore, <laughs> because like, in order to beat the Sands fight, we had to like, we were like, at family's house, and we played for six hours straight mm -hmm. trying to beat it oh, like it just it would God. be unreasonable yeah but I, didn't your dad pop in at he one did, point well, because we've been we've been yeah. recording for so long that he was just like in the room like surely <laughs> you'll be it. done at some point <laughs> I, right i think he interjected a few times as well oh yeah like, because like, short had beaten it he's like did you win and short's like yes, <laughs> yes i won <laughs> go away <laughs> um so no that was really really fun mm -hmm. um um let's see but i guess favorite game that just, we game. just haven't played on the channel because there's a lot of games. Um, I have a free, no, no, no. I mean, I really like Horizon Zero Dawn. Um, yeah, I know you really like that yeah. game. I really like Fallout New Vegas. Yeah, you yeah. love that game. I like that game a lot. Yeah. yeah. So my fiance got me into that game, mm -hmm. and we both really love it. Yeah. Um, favorite game that we played that wasn't on the channel? I mean, Dragon Age Two. Dragon Age Two. Yeah, yeah. like yeah. that's easy. Yeah. yeah. So, Fair enough. That was a good one. Uh, um, okay. Want to do another one? Dream game that doesn't exist yeah. yet. Yeah. What is your, uh, let's see. 
So mm. then, I'm sorry, we didn't announce who the first question It's gone, from, though. It's been it's deleted. Gone, it's gone. Oh, oh Phoenix sorry. Coffee. Phoenix Thank Coffee. You, Phoenix Coffee. Thank you, Phoenix Coffee. Uh, okay, from Savannah Johnson, what is your dream game that doesn't exist yet? Um, I have an answer for that. Go for it. Shoot. I, and I, I think it's like... There are several games that are sort of like in beta for this, <laughs> um, but I fucking want a game with really realistic dinosaurs where you can either play as a dinosaur or you play in a world with dinosaurs. Just <laughs> give me a good dinosaur game where they're like done really well. I know that there are Dinotopia are... style or um, I mean, there's one out right now um, that's like. A survival game. I think there's a couple. Like, like there's art. Yeah. There's um the Isle. Yeah. Um there's um oh my gosh uh there's one that, that um the artist R.J. Palmer is involved mm -hmm. in who does the dinosaur role, dinosaur um designs for it mm -hmm. and they're really really beautiful and that's probably the closest one mm -hmm. that might be no it's not um Saurian Saurian mm -hmm. is the game I've not um, heard of that and it looks beautiful. Can you, send, can you send that to me? Yes, yes I'll send thank you. you. I, yeah, I it looks like really, really pretty. I think mm. uh, I, it's definitely available now. I think it's on Steam. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, it's so, it looks beautiful. Mm -hmm. So that's the closest we've gotten so far. But I just, I don't know, it's one of those things. Mm -hmm. um, I have not played it yet. Mm -hmm. uh, so but it looks I good. Need to. Yeah, yeah. I, I've, been, I've followed like the um, the uh, like production of it, but mm -hmm. I haven't actually played it. What about you? Dream game that doesn't exist. I know that was like a really weird specific no, I think that, response for me. I think the challenge I'm having is that was a really good answer because yeah. it's specific. I, like my my dream game differs on a day to day basis just based on what like I feel like I'm not getting enough of. Mm -hmm. And for right now, that's probably like Stardew Valley, but another one mm -hmm. is kind of where I'm at right now. Uh, yeah. like, I really <laughs> enjoyed Stardew, Stardew Valley. Yeah, yeah, like I really enjoyed Stardew Valley. I've always really loved the um uh like the old Harvest Moon and the freaking Rune, Rune something. The the ones that are like Harvest Moon, but they have combat. Um, I've always really liked those games. What is that? I, I played a bunch of them, and the fact that I can't remember the name of the series right now is really distressing. Yeah, you played me, a lot like, of Stardew Valley, didn't you? Yeah. 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 Um, I really, really like those kind of passive life semi games, but with fantasy elements. Mm -hmm. um, and I'm not getting enough of that right now. So. That's fair. That's fair. Um, Jesus, we got a bunch. Wow. Um, well, maybe we'll do one more, and then yes. we'll continue on to... Um, the next week? What do you think? Yeah, I think Let's that's see. good. We've got, we've got a, oh yeah, we've got a bunch rolling in here. Um, uh, we can do like a kind of lightning round. Um, Say Teach asks, uh, what's a game that you really love but feel that it hasn't gotten its due? Um, I mean, uh, um, Detention, Eve, um, Eve. Eve. A really, really good game. Yeah. Um, that was the first game you and I played. Yeah, and yeah. I mean, up to before that, I played it like once a year, every year. I mm -hmm. love that game. Yeah, it's a great um, game. Ooh, last day of June. I hate naming things that we did on the channel because I feel like that's not really the question, but we deliberately go out of our way to play games on the channel that we feel this way about. Yeah. So like, yeah. it's kind of a weird it kinda, stacked. It kind of yeah. meshes with with our, our, our vibe play. anyway. So. Yeah. Um, um, Let's see. Let's see. Do you here. have one? Um, oh, a game? Yeah. Uh, I didn't want to say New Vegas again. <laughs> you can say New Vegas again. Out, I feel like New Vegas has gotten its due. It people has. are very people aware are really, of how good people New are Vegas really is. aware of it, so that doesn't really count. Yeah. yeah. Um, mm. I can't think of something else. Okay, that's fine. Um, maybe I will when I'm playing Monster Pro later. I'll be like, oh, this game. <laughs> <laughs> just interrupt how uh, yeah. let's do one more. Yeah, I'll do one more. Um, thing. let's see. From uh Millie Cat, uh ever played D and D. Oh heck yes. Um Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yo, we play a lot of D and D. Um we play D and D every single week. Gina um, is our amazing, amazing DM. Thank you. She does thank you so an much. awesome job. Um mm. she's been running our our long form campaign mm. for like I've done three campaigns for You've for done this three group. campaigns. Yeah. We did one campaign for uh, like a year and a half, mm -hmm. um, and that ended kind of. It ended poorly. That ended tragically. That was like if you're playing a, if you're playing a video game and you've got multiple endings that you can uh, like achieve in that game. We got the bad ending. You definitely yeah. you didn't only get the bad ending, <laughs> but you got the bad ending in such a way that you like very visibly, like triggered a bunch of death flags and like yeah. it was. It was, there was no coming back was the problem with that yeah. one. I as a DM was sitting there it like, just kinda, I don't know if it's my responsibility to like give you the story even though you haven't earned it yeah. or like give you the ending that 
these characters have earned, but like in a in a really Which wasn't like a good it wasn't ending. a good ending, but it was like I felt like it was right. It was appropriate. For, yeah, it was definitely appropriate. So we had that game. We had um we had like a six month. Yeah, sci-fi, sci-fi, escape campaign. the room, kind of zero escapey. Yeah, 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 yeah. It was like 999. Mm-hmm. Um, exactly. Based it off of, and our tech guys, Julian Edmund, joined us on that, and they're they now from that um, campaign are part of our our new uh, long form campaign that yep. we kind of just started like not too long ago. Yeah, I feel like our schedule's been kind of weird, um, so we haven't been able to really go. But like all in a couple on it, months. Yeah. yeah, pretty new. Yeah. yeah. So Gina's our main DM. Um, a couple you of, have DM'd a one shot. I see. I DM'd a one shot or two shot. Two shot. It was two sessions. Um, my my fiance Victor has DM'd uh, two one shots. Yeah, they were yeah. really fun. They were really yeah. cute and really They're fun. Good. Yeah, um, those were great. Mm. And a couple other of our like members of our group have some one shots lined up to play as well. So yeah. we all kind of we've got our like uh, I mean Gina's our amazing main DM and we all kind of take turns doing some mm-hmm. one shots, especially um, between campaigns. Yeah, we, uh, I like definitely. to. Make sure that everyone gets a, a chance. Yeah. Between. Yeah. All right. Um, all right. Let's go back into yeah, the game. Let's get, yeah. Let's keep going. Let's do it. Thank you, guys. Yeah. Thank those are really good questions. Thank you to Phoenix Coffee, Savannah Johnson, uh, Say Teach, and Millie Cat for your questions. Yep. Um, and we see that there's more. We yep. will do that next uh, week, I guess. We but like in game the... week, not next. It's fine. Yes. In, in the next... Somebody choose a celebrity. Oh. Uh, I have one, but if you want to pick first, you can, because I've been going like first with my options. Um. <laughs> you no, you'd have to understand. My mind said Nick Jonas, and then I'm like, I refuse <laughs> to say Nick Jonas. And then my mind was like, No, but Nick, you just Jonas. Said Nick Jonas. So it's Nick Jonas so it's now. Nick Jonas. But that's why I froze up because my mind was like, Nick Jonas. No, Nick Jonas. No. Um, <laughs> Terrible. I don't. Anyway, it doesn't matter. My for some bizarre reason, my instinct was Michael Sarah. Okay. <laughs> Good. Excellent. So that's what we brought got. to a good start here. Uh, player order is based on how likely it is that the selected celebrity is secretly related to Eleanor. Certain Meaning video. you or the the like the, Frankenstein the Franken- girl. The brightest Frankenstein. You. Uh, Michael Sarah. <laughs> I don't know. You win no. if it's Michael Sarah. <laughs> well, what did you say? I said Nick Jonas. Nick Jonas? I can go with Nick Jonas. I could go. I might vote Nick Jonas I'll, for I'll you. I'm gonna go. You thank what? you. Thank yeah. you so much. I'm gonna give you that. I just gave. I just gave you, you gave two me? bones here. Yep. So, <laughs> but only because you didn't want to be related to Michael Sarah. <laughs> so, like, I don't feel too bad. All right, for real this time, we're going to the bathrooms. Done. Uh, oh, I, I love know these little shadow friends. They're so cute. Are they just like extensions of themselves? I think so. I yeah. think they like yes. I think cute. the answer is yes. Yep. Uh, that day you skip class and just hang out in the bathrooms because you respect no authority. I guess some people just want to watch the world burn by skipping class and hanging out in the bathroom. You gave zero shits and pl- gained plus two boldness. Sweet. You're chilling out, not murdering anybody when Damon slinks up to you. <laughs> He's hauling a large sack with the words "definitely not a corpse" written on it. Hey, um, you're not gonna believe this, but. There's definitely actually a corpse in this bag. You never would have guessed. <laughs> now here's the thing. I'm not saying I'm exactly responsible for making this corpse. At least not without my lawyer present. But let's just say he and I apparently had very different definitions of rock, paper, scissors. Oh no. Oh, okay. On the other hand, oh boy. <laughs> can the son of hell or whatever Damien is get in trouble for murder? One would think that this would be just a gold star I think for this is week. just like... Kids out having fun. Yeah, right. right. Why do you need a lawyer? I don't know. It seems like it would be a good Maybe thing. Maybe because he's in the like a. I mean, is this a semi-mortal world that we're in right now? Well, Polly's dead but alive, which means people can die by being stabbed. We know. So yes. Yeah. Uh-huh. Weird. Um. Anyway, I'm not super imp- interested in going back to jail, so I need you to help me hide this body real quick. Okay. Apparently, you can go to monster jail. Um. It would be an extremely attractive thing look to do. At the, look at this, look like, at his, like, come oh, hither look like, that he's giving face. us right now. Yeah. Luckily, hiding dead bodies is kind of your thing. You share your brilliant solution of disguise him as a drinking fountain. No one will know the difference. <laughs> and just chuck a, uh, chuck him in the garbage. He'll uh, blend perfectly with my collection of vintage dead bodies because I kill a lot of people is the joke there. I, think I got so. it. Yep. I got it. Yep. Um, hmm. Huh. Which of Let's these is see. bold? This? I mean, that could be bold because he's, be out, creative. he's out in plain sight. Yeah. But that could also be the creative option. We'll see what... Maybe you this. Need, you need the... Because mm. it, it implies both that I kill people frequently and also that I, I'm, I'm a 
devil may care. Just right. throw them in the pile of dead bodies. I would go with that one. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, there it is, bold. <laughs> you threw the corpse in the back of Damien's uh, dread chariot and hoof it over to the gear garbage. <laughs> <laughs> Holy hell, these are all yours? <laughs> Some of these are total classics. Elvis Presley, Amelia Earhart. Fuck, you've got three popes in here. You know it. Hell yeah. I spent all this time trying to be a great murderer. When the greatest murderer of Fucking all time metal. was right next to me this entire time. Damien lovingly lays his mangled corpse next to your pristine collector's items. I imagine he puts items. it down like really He's like, like, I'm oh. so honored to have yeah. it here. Oh, like looking oh at you and like, oh yes. Um, okay, uh, a look of awe on his face. Joke's on him, you're actually just a really accomplished grave robber. You gain <laughs> plus two smarts and plus one charm. Which honestly, he would be okay with too. He's already he's demonstrated already that he's okay with that. Yep. Here you go. All right, now let's see, what do I need going on here? Um... I don't know if I, I want to use do more it. fun. Kick it over ten. I could, I could use some more fun because I actually that would be great for Polly too. Um, let's see. Would that be in the? Ch no, oh, no. That's, fun is outdoors. That's charm. Um, fun is outdoors. Yeah, the rape. Wasn't I just there? Yeah, you can go there multiple times. That's fair. Yeah, you just spend the whole month. I just at rave. The rave. Yeah, like you're going crazy. After Polly, that's kind of appropriate. That's true. She yeah. just rich. <laughs> parties and raves all the time. Um, that day during recess, you start a half hour rave that goes full crazy. Everything's fine until the one to one the small magical Latino cat asks why you, what you think you're doing. Damn, you didn't even remember you suck at dancing. Uh, you, you decide to go all in and pretend it's a new dance move, apparently called the Groovy Masaka. Uh, Juan looks at you and he asks you to teach him the Groovy Masaka. <laughs> in no time, half the party is following your steps and joining the Groovy Masaka all together. It's a party to remember. You gain plus two fun and a cool story to tell your grandkids someday. For what it's worth, wow. you can never be at the rave more than Juan, the small magical teen That's cat. Right. Because he's always <laughs> there. He is somehow always there. Um, you're just getting ready to leave when you get a text from Polly. Hey, baby, let's party. <laughs> How can you refuse such a formal missive? You track her down immediately. Hey, you got my text. That's good, because I need some help brainstorming. I'm going to a party tonight, but I'm pretty sure it's going to be lame, and that needs to change. Uh, see, it's a costume party. You know, where everyone dresses up as their favorite humans? Mm. Oh, I've gotten this one before. Yeah, I failed yeah. it. I'm going as a sexy taxpayer, but I'm pretty sure the tax sexy attorney. Ta oh, sorry. Sexy tax tax attorney. A sexy, a sexy tax taxpayer. <laughs> That's almost funnier. <laughs> you literally could go as anything. <laughs> I'm going as myself. Oh man, okay, uh... <laughs> um, but I'm not sure even- I'm not sure even the sexiest tax attorney can rescue this party from the depths of lamitude. So, got any ideas to help spice things up? Oh, you've got some ideas, and they're the spiciest. Uh, spike the punch with mandrake root. It turns the monsters into actual humans! <laughs> oh <Wow>, boy! <laughs> okay, uh, you go as the sexy tax attorney, I'll go as the sexy taxi baiter. Um... I think it's gotta be fun. This feels more fun. This feels more fun or bold, but it could also be creative, which I was actually thinking this one might be the creative option. Yeah. Um, in which, which case, do not whoa, touch that no, one. No, 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 yeah, no, no, no. I, yeah. I don't think, I think this- This feels like a poly option. Regardless of whether it's bold or fun, it's yeah. still a better option. Yeah. Okay. Mm hmm. Let's see. All right. I'm going with it. Yeah! Smart? Smart? Sure! <laughs> okay! Fine! <laughs> sure! God, this game sometimes! <laughs> that's- that's great. Yeah. I mean, I, I've got enough smart to get by. Yeah, no, that works yeah. for you. Uh, later that night, at the party- <laughs> This is nuts! Look at all these humans in human costumes! Georgina the party owlbear, owlbear totally just turned into a sumo wrestler! I love owlbears. I love them too, they're so, so cute. cute! They growl um, and they whoop. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. At the same time or separately? I always thought it's like, <laughs> ooh, ooh, or it's like, ooh. No, that's, that's, just no a dog. that's just a dog. <laughs> that's a bark. I think it has to be two like indiv independent states. <laughs> oh, shit. Terrifying bear. Or really or large like, owl. Ooh, yeah. yeah, I love them. They're so, super cute. I just made that face. That's fine. Um, did. <laughs> <laughs> and Larry the Lich looks exactly like the former United States President Abraham Lincoln. Oh, Larry doesn't doesn't just look like Lincoln. He is Lincoln. He has all of Lincoln's memories up to the moment of his death. Even newly transformed human. Even every. every Newly transformed human at the party comes complete with a full lifetime of memories. A childhood, family, friends, they have no recollection of their lives as a monster and are currently going insane from the cognitive dissonance. Haha! <laughs> Manny the Manicor just turned into a retired cop who is screaming for his estranged wife and two sons! Pranked! 
<laughs> Neither are all of hers horrifying. They're really like oh, existentially face. disturbing yeah. on a very strange level. Uh, in a bad- I know! Yeah, we, we killed a man! Yeah, and now we've brought and all we of brought... these people into existence for Holy only the- shit! For the entirety of, I don't know, like an like hour? 30, yeah. yeah, and then they're gone. Oh my god. Oh, oh four hours. There four hours. Oh um, god, that's really upsetting. That is, <laughs> that's, so upsetting. That's too long. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's that means like, they had time to settle into themselves, yeah. to accept what had happened to them, like, to realize guess, that their lives are fake yeah, and nothing or, matters. Or that they're back to life again, they've been resurrected from well, death, too. and they're somehow at a party with all these people. That's and, really upsetting. Yeah, holy oh, shit. I don't like it, Polly. Um, <laughs> I don't like it at all. I thought oh, this was our idea. But... She, she's bold as fuck. Um, in about four hours, all of these newly created people will revert to their previous forms, essentially murdering these new identities. Lol. <laughs> in the meantime, you and Polly have a great time scaring the shit out of actual humans and streaming it online. You gain plus two creativity and plus one farm. Oh, uh, fun. Farm. farm. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> I looked at charm. It's fair. It's fun. I guess that was a great time that you just had. That's great. Congratulations. I'm, I'm having an awesome time. Everyone chooses a food. Oh boy. Uh, say your choice out loud. Okay. Uh, food. Falafel. I was about to say falafel. Well, I beat you to it. Wow. I somehow felt it in the universe you, and somehow I, I, jumped on we're it. We're close enough yeah. that we're picking up on each other's, like, I don't know, aura. Um, let's... <laughs> Sorry, go okay. ahead. What's your food? My food? It can um, also be falafel, but then we have a problem. I mean, so does a condiment count as a food? It can, but keep in mind that's risky considering the prompt. But mm. go for it. It can be mayonnaise. It can be mustard. Well, I was gonna say chimichurri sauce. That's a better condiment than mayonnaise yeah. mustard. You beat me. <laughs> uh, player orders decide I mean, <laughs> based on how unappealing a pizza would be uh, with your chosen food as its topping. Oh shit, a chimichurri okay. pizza sounds great. Yeah, falafel pizza sounds kind of dry. Yeah, I think you won that one. Alright, that's not by a very big margin. No, Neither no, of those are terrible. Like, I could put, you could put a falafel on a pizza. Yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah, just take it. There you go. Alright, Okay, pizza. lunch. I'm not gonna yeah. go to the store this time. I've learned my lesson. There you go. Oh, or you can just see it. Oh, Damien Miranda! I could pop on over there. There we go. Oh! Yeah. Excellent. I love this. You come upon Dam uh, Damien sneering at Miranda's elaborate sil- Oh, it's the silverware one again! Okay, a <laughs> um, no, no it's not. Uh, Miranda's elaborate silverware spread while her eating serfs chow down obediently at a neighboring table. <laughs> I still don't get why you collect all these stupid she forks so and spoons cute. and shit. Oh my god, she looks she adorable. She looks so cute. Holy shit, Miranda. Wow. Why are like, you amazing? I'm like, I want that crop top. Yeah, like, I know. It's, like, really it's a cute. good look. Yeah, it's a very it's really good look. Cute. Oh, Miranda. Okay. Shit. Um, um, I mean, even the knives don't really look that deadly. Silly boy. Uh, the silverware are not for, for killing. These, uh, these can be for stuff other than killing? That's... Blame as hell! It's basically useless. I mean, you don't even eat! Your serfs do it for you! Well, of course they do. But they're not even using any of your silverware. Naturally they aren't! Serfs must eat with their hands, as befits the lower classes. <laughs> so you're saying this silverware collection has no practical purpose? Things have practical purposes? <laughs> they're discovering things They're together. learning! They're learning! Wow. <laughs> These two could go around and around like this forever unless you say something to resolve the dispute. Damien's right, Miri. Miri. Very, very... It's very casual. It's very casual. Yeah, right. We haven't talked to Miranda before. That's fine. Uh, Damien's right, Miri. Uh, maybe it is time for you to start murdering people with your silverware and lay off Miranda. Uh, lay off Miranda, Damien. Uh, what about your collection of exotic corpses? Okay, that's one. Yeah. I mean, I was just giving her shit, but I am, I am in favor of any plan that gets more people murdered. Oh, how barbaric. Are you sure that's the right thing to do? Yup, 100%. Absolutely. Well, all right then. Yum yum, Daisy. Oh, yum yum, Daisy. Take your sharpest of the silvered wares and uh, in your filthy peasant hands <laughs> and go on murdering, would you? I was kind of hoping you would do the murdering yourself. If we're living in an age wherein the lady can't outsource her senseless murders to her servants, I don't know what world the world is coming to. Fair enough. As long as the murders get done, I guess I don't care. Miranda even outsources some silverware murder to you and Damien as a team. Uh, it really brings you closer to each other. Oh, that's great. You go stabbing people with butter knives together. It's really sweet. <laughs> or no, with the fish knife. We've learned oh, that there the, fish yeah, the fish knife is knife. Really, <laughs> yeah. the really fucked up one. Here you go. <laughs> good. Uh, oh, Miranda, let's see. good cameo. I miss you. Missy girl. Oh, I get to talk with uh, Polly and Vera now. Yes, do oh, it. Oh, shit. Okay, let's do this. Uh, you take your seat and... If you didn't know any better, you would say that it seems like Vera and Polly are almost more interested in their phones than they are in you. How dare they. <laughs> and 
and you do know better, and you know that, yes, this is exactly what's happening right now. Um, hey, it's nothing man. personal, Eleanor. I just thought, uh, it's just that Polly and I are very engrossed in texting our financial slave. Yeah, it's pretty hard to compete with some guy whose fetish is buying you anything you want. That's my fetish, too! <laughs> not buying things from yeah, people. Yeah, I was about to say the, the other thing. <laughs> yeah, not buying things from people. <laughs> Having people buy things from me, duh. Good thing he's rich enough to take care of both of us. <laughs> you know what they say, true friendship is sharing secrets and financial slaves. You know, I'm glad that these two have really, like, figured out something that works for them. Yes! Yeah, I'm, I'm happy for them. I wouldn't have matched them up as being friends, but, like... That's actually, I have to say, joking aside, my absolute favorite thing about this game is that clearly all the characters are better friends with each other than they will ever be with right, you. Right. Like, they really <laughs> have intricate lives with one another, and I really it's love really that. It's really good. It just yeah. makes them more people, which yeah. I like. Um, also, I do like Vera's summer outfit here, too. That's really yeah, great. It's nice yeah. to see through. Like, like yeah. It's good. Yeah, good luck. Good stuff. Um, still, I do worry that this arrangement might not be sustainable. What happens if he runs out of money? Our cash flow instantly stops. Besides, being handed everything you want on a platter, in this case, platter being an online money transferring platform, it's almost boring. I was wondering if you were gonna do the yeah. S thing and you yeah, did it very did. subtly, yeah. but it was there, it was nice. There weren't enough words yeah. in there for me to do it, yeah. but I'll, I'll make it work. Stops. Yeah. Stops. Yeah. Um, yeah, I get that. It's a little less boring when you're on as much cocaine as I am right now, but I see what you're I see what you mean. Uh, if we could somehow turn this into a business venture, then that was a Sorry, little Sorry, I didn't call you without <laughs> oh, didn't damn it. to. I, I messed it up be for you. It's gotta, kind it's of gotta be, like, be the there. end. Yeah, yeah, it has to be at the end of a sentence <laughs> or... <laughs> I'll make it work. I'm sorry I messed you up. That was my bad. Uh, if we could somehow turn this into a business venture, then maybe it would get interesting. And we could continue to profit even after he's gone broke from catering to our every whim. I mean, how interesting do you think business can actually actually is? Uh, since he's so obsessed with us, we could just tell him to do something totally insane and see if he does it. I don't know. I, a weirdo giving away his money and getting into hijinks is great and all, but I want to start making some real money. And I think money is fine and all, but my favorite currency is chaos. Okay. Hmm, seems like Pretty the ladies are very exciting crossroads. All right, so they're not like like. No, I disagree. I both sides of this. Both sides. Totally. Yeah. Maybe a random bystander can give them a nudge in the right direction. Uh, whoa. <laughs> That's the <laughs> tell him to marry a llama. Yeah, I was about to say, it's the Vera answer and the tell him to marry a llama answer. I gotta read this out, though. You can, yeah. easily, grow, uh, you can easily grow this arrangement into a business. Just escalate and, uh, and just escalate and delegate. Have a financial slave go and acquire his own financial slave and give him money and have that financial slave go and find a financial slave and just do a pyramid scheme. Yep. Yep. That's what that That's is. Fine. That's what um, that's called. Very let's, good. Uh, let's marry a llama. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, yes! That is everything to me! <laughs> Actually... <laughs> I actually had a dream just like it, just oh, like that one time. I love this video game. It's so I love this video ridiculous. game so much. It's so ridiculous. It's so good. Except it wasn't a llama, it was an alpaca. <laughs> and it wasn't a wedding, it was a bar mitzvah. But other than that, it's exactly that is, the that same. That is actually funnier. <laughs> <laughs> it's actually... It's the funny. question was, the question is, is the alpaca the one that's reading from the Torah in that instance? Or is it, <laughs> I thought, is the oh, alpaca no, the I cancer? Think I, think the, I think it's the alpaca's bar mitzvah. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. all right. That's what I thought. Cool. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I don't think this is my scene. I'm going to go check on my legal firm. Uh, catch you weirdos later. <laughs> I'm texting the financial slave right now, telling him to marry a llama. Oh, he's already typing. Oh, let's see. Eleanor, you will never believe this. It turns out the financial slave has actually been talking to a llama for a few months now through a llama monster dating site. He's, uh, he says he's <laughs> what the fuck? a commitment phobe. Oh, he yeah. says he's a commitment phobe and never really defines the terms of his relationship with the llama. And he keeps introducing the llama as a friend, but he never knows. Uh, but he knows now it's because he was just scared of being hurt. So here's the question: Is this less fun? If it's less outlandish because he was already kind of dating a llama. Oh, that's a fair point. It feels like, less fun to yeah, me. It's like yeah. oh, well, it's actually, actually like, they found like, they've, like been, well, they've been working it out. Yeah. yeah. So. Uh, uh, he's taking it. <laughs> he's taking this as a sure sign that it's time to be brave and commit to the llama, and they're heading to the city hall for a ceremony right now. Of course, he says he'll have to take his leave, <laughs> take his leave of our group chat since his heart and wallet now belong to another, specifically a llama. Aww, this is the sweetest love story I've ever heard. Um, I'm going to. I'm so glad we got to make it happen together. 
Okay, so less fun, but it was wow. a bonding moment. It was so a there bonding you go. moment. Yeah, all right, like, that's family. really cute. Um, that is the sweetest love story you've ever heard, or something. Uh, <laughs> but hey, maybe you and Polly will end up having a love story of your own. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Wait, great places. places. Yeah. I love how the narrator is like, yes, 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 yes. I know, like, they're so like you on. delightfully yeah. invested in this, except for like that one route where they're not invested. That's and they're like, so mm. good. Okay, uh, everybody chooses something bad. Say your choice out loud to the rest of the players before. Something bad. Okay, I've been going first a lot, so you should really say something first. You went first last time. Oh, you did? Oh, you did. I stole it. That's right. Stole it from the brain. You stole it from my brain. Right. Thing through the ether. Bad. Um, oh shit. Um, like those watery mochas. Like when you go to a, a coffee shop and they have mochas, and you're really excited, and then you have one and it tastes like like Swiss Miss, and that's it's terrible. Ew. I don't like it. Ew, watery mochas is my shitty. answer. Yeah. Um, uh, fruit flies in your house. Oh, well, yeah, that and I have some of those right yeah, now. That's pretty but funny. Your <laughs> counterpoint, Penny chases them, and it's very cute. <laughs> that's, so so cute. <laughs> that's adorable. Um, uh, decided on how likely it would be for a human kind to perish due to the selected thing. Oh, well, fruit flies. Oh, I guess so. There you go. Yep. Because watery mochas are an inconvenience at worst. <laughs> Um, and honestly, they're still caffeinated and all of that, so I don't yeah, know why I'm they complaining. Can still, they can yeah. still get you going. Yeah. Maybe, I guess. Um, was, let's I see. Do, is there anything, anything at the store that I would need for, for Polly? At least not with the current route. Not in your route, right. yeah. You don't seem yeah. to be set in like a, like a special route. Yeah, I could be fair. wrong about that. It's hard to tell sometimes, like, specifically whether their shenanigans are like... Are like leading to yeah, something. Yeah, but yours don't seem linked up all that much. No, so, I don't think yeah. so. Um... Outdoors, gym is, I always forget, charm. Yeah. Yep. Bathroom is boldness. boldness. Yeah. I already have a lot of boldness. I kind of want do. some more smarts. Okay, smarts is class. Yeah. Yeah. Go for I it. I probably won't run into Polly there, but. You will. You're going to run into her or, no matter Is she what. just lined up yeah. to run into me now? That's yeah. what I figured. The, yeah. the first couple of choices determine, like, who shows up and then they're there. Okay, okay. okay. Um, yeah, I'm going to go to class and just, because some of my choices have been. Oh no, I scared him oh, away. There's a cat off camera. Hey, buddy. Come um, here. Uh, my choices have been like halfway between Hi. smart and like yeah. bold slash fun. Hey, look, guys. Hey, buddy. It's the ghetto. Hey. Short but, intermission. Like, you should, you should settle, buddy. Yeah, I'm gonna do this. Um, hey, come on in. Come on in, friend. Hey, sweetheart. Uh, that day you listened to the elders and learned valuable lessons. Sometimes, after all the monster nonsense and the acting gimmicks... Dating, uh, you, dating oh, gimmicks. Dating but gimmicks. acting gimmicks work still. I, I have no idea. That's so weird. I've been, like, making up words, like, this entire playthrough, so... I it's feel like, uh, <laughs> a surprisingly difficult time reading this game, despite the fact that the font it's is fair. huge and <laughs> easy to read. It's actually yeah. pretty nice font. Yeah. Um, uh, despite, oh wait, sometimes after all the monster nonsense and the dating gimmicks, uh, I still almost said acting. Mm -hmm. Um, you forget that attending class is supposed to be the primary activity at this high school. Uh, you gain plus two smarts. Cool. She looks so cute. Look she looks she is. adorable. She's so cute. She's so cute. Uh, on your way out, you spot Polly wearing the lab coat she stole from that human party the other night. Oh, uh, maybe they are connected. Oh. She huh. takes it off and throws it at you to get your attention. Yo, 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 that party was, uh, that party convinced me I want to be a scientist, but not just any kind, a party scientist. Hmm. What kind of party scientist, you ask? Why, oh, wait, wait, why a party scientist who d is dedicated to discovering the secrets of the raddest party. That line, I oh died. Oh my god. I died on that line. <laughs> that was horrible. <laughs> Holy you shit. Like, How the <laughs> oh man. <laughs> I just... As your brother would say, I just shit into the mic. Yes, yes. Yeah. That's, that's correct. <laughs> uh, through a series of extremely scientific experiments, I aim to discover what exactly makes a party good. So I can distill whatever it is into a vial and drink it. Or, you know, just have a really dope par have really dope parties all the time. Anyway, I'm going to a bar Vince tonight and I need your scientific advice. What can we do to push this party over the edge? She's living out her dream She party. is. Yeah, yeah, and the answer is an alpaca, clearly. And, but Wait, oh god damn it, it's not there! That would have been really good. That would have been actually fantastic. That would have been I know. really <laughs> good. I, oh. oh man. The electric okay. slide. Oh, this is actually kind of hard. No. No. Yeah. I think chemistry might be creativity, whereas an electric slide might be smarts or boldness. But why is it just chemistry in all caps? Because it's like sexy chemistry. You like yell it. You're like chemistry. No, I think it's like I don't know. Oh, like sexy yeah, chemistry. Yeah, it's like, like sexy oh, chemistry. Okay. Ha, I mean, ha, ha, it could ha. just be like. Let's go do some science. Let's go. It could be that. I mean, don't get me wrong. Chem chemistry. Chemistry's pretty yeah. rad, but let's like... Go, let's go do some, like... I don't know. Let's go look at molecules under 
electromagnetic field. Um, Which were you going to choose? Else? I don't know. Uh, uh, the electric slide, but with actual electricity. Let's Go for just it. electrocute people. So fun! So fun! Yes! Later that night. <laughs> Look at him dance! I don't know why I ever thought of this before. It's just basic science. Lightning gives life to a Frankenstein. Actually, that makes sense coming from me, too. That weirdly oh. does make sense coming from oh, your character. Oh, it's so in character. Okay. A, a Frankenstein is, is a stitched together mass of sexy flailing limbs. Hey, that's a compliment to me. You are, yep. <laughs> Which is <laughs> also a <laughs> stitched together <laughs> flailing mass of sexy limbs. Congratulations. Uh, uh, which is also what a party is. Uh, lightning is the life of the party. What's that? You want to know what? <laughs> you want to know how, who the bar mitzvah boy is? I don't know. I don't oh know any God. of these kinds of kids. I don't know any of these kids. Holly! Oh, she's so it's good. It's so distressing she every just, time. She just crashed a bar mitzvah and electric. Yes, yeah. she said yeah. the. She yes, oh, she just sent a live current through the party and watched them go. Holy shit! Poor uh, child. Crashing bar mitzvahs. Well, I guess they're a man now, so it's okay. Yep. <laughs> and it's fine. And it was electric. Um, crashing bar mitzvahs, the height of party culture. You have so much fun, you forget to tell Polly she should have said Frankenstein's monster. Uh, you gain plus two fun. That's and plus fair. One charm. It That's was both cute. a compliment, but also yep. a little racist. Just a little bit. Just a tiny bit. Just a little bit. That's fine. <laughs> um, okay. I have a lot of boldness. <laughs> not, <laughs> not much of anything You've got else. a lot of boldness, and then it's, it's <laughs> yeah, just it's straight pretty fast. Bad. <laughs> it's pretty bad. You know what? I'm going to lean all in. I mean, boldness. All Let's need, do it. He only he needs just boldness, needs me to right? kill people. That's yeah. all he asks. Which he is, doesn't ask that much. Which is boldness. Yeah. Yeah. So. Uh, okay. Uh, that day, you skip class just to hang out in the bathrooms. Uh, on the way there, uh, you run into Mamimi, the onion, uh, the Oni girl. Oh, she's an Oni. Sorry, the oh. Oni girl. Uh, she offers you some of her weird Japanese energy drink. You take a sip. It tastes crazy as hell. You need to check the contents of this shit. <laughs> uh, guarana seed extract, uh, benzoic acid, 50 milligrams of caffeine, and 100 mi uh, milligrams of boldness. Uh, shit. Well, it wasn't bad at all. You gained a bunch of boldness. It's fine. Actually, I actually haven't read that one before. Oh, that's funny. Mm -hmm. Call me off guard. Um, of course, no trip to the bathroom would be complete without running into a group of your classmates doing something stupid. Oh my god. Oh my god, Jeez. it's everybody. Okay. Oh shit, this is all me. <laughs> oh my god. It's been all you the whole time. That's I'm not true. sure if you've noticed this place. I had well, like Liam you, for like a minute. Would you like to take Vera this round? Sure. All right. Okay, yeah. cool. Oh, Damien, you're the worst. I uh, know, right? <laughs> she means that in a oh. bad way. Did you really have to set fire to the entire deck of cards? Oh, that's good. I don't know. Did the deck of cards have to keep dealing me shitty hands? Not necessarily. N uh, that's not how probability works. Well then, I guess I didn't necessarily need to set it on fire. But since it- <laughs> since when has that stopped me? Well, well now, you've stopped us all from playing poker. Now what are we gonna bet on? Mama needs to get a new pair of shoes. Yes, and I derive an almost sexual pleasure from taking your money. So, what's the new game? I like how she's really like, she's just <laughs> real up front. I really like Vera. <laughs> she's just here she's to great. get exactly what she wants. I was, yeah. I was really hoping that I could go down like the Vera route with this, but it just she's really hard, isn't she? You have to set up money up uh, front. Yeah. You just have to be like, I am going the money. Just money. Way. Money, yeah. money, 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 money. money. Yeah. Um, okay. Oh, ooh, you know the perfect poker alternative Russian roulette and the stuff. <laughs> I think that's pretty, uh, Although pretty pretty bold. Although this is pretty bold, to be completely that honest. Is, but I feel like yeah, it's Russian like roulette. Yeah. There we go. Oh yeah, why didn't I think of that? That used to be my favorite game before I died. Well, <laughs> and then she died. Wait. <laughs> All in. Polly pulls an antique revolver out of nowhere, spins the cylinder, points it at her head, and pulls the trigger five times until it fires. Oh my god! The bullet goes through her intangible head, bounces off the ceiling, and embeds itself in the mirror right next to the other bullet holes. What? What? Uh, I guess Vera and I split the money? Dang, I always lose at Russian roulette. Let's play again! I'll go first! Uh, <laughs> how you ever died is a mystery to me. Uh, hey, yeah, me too. Aww, you decide to get out of the bathroom to avoid any further ricochet. From the gunshots echoing behind you, it seems your friends are all delighted by your, uh, with your suggestion. You gain plus two fun and plus one smarts. Hey, that worked. It's and good, because like, I made Vera, them money. Yeah, you made them money. Vera kind of liked it, and, like, Damien was cool with that, too. Yay, it's you! Hoorah! Yay! Okay, uh, you're engaging in your favorite weekend activity, ignoring everything in favor of thinking about which classmate you'd like to take to prom and how horny you are. Uh, when you find out that it, this is apparently reading on your face. Oh, God, that's me. Um, of course it is. Let's see what you're after. Uh, hey, Fair Itself. You seem pretty horny and like someone who sits around all day thinking about your <laughs> who you're going to take to prom. Wow, does she ever have your number or what? 
Listen, I'm kind of interested in someone, but honestly, I don't think I could be with any monster who isn't spectacular at sex. Oh, it's this one. Uh, yeah. I know sex isn't everything, but it's sort of everything to me. Not really, but it's pretty high up on my list of priorities. Sorry if this is TMI, titillating monster interaction. <laughs> but it's but if it, but it's someone you know, so I thought I might have I thought you might have some insight. It's Eleanor. I feel like this is her only nighttime thing. I think so. Because I've seen it. I feel like I've I, seen this I've one only three or four seen times. That. Yeah. Um, I just love sex. <laughs> Any position: missionary, clergy, apocalyptic, upside down nightmare demon, the pentagram. Ooh, the pentagram. I you just said that live on the internet. You did. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna offer to skip through it, but you just dove right That's in. Fine. So I was just like, like, all right, let's it. go. <laughs> what do you think? Could Eleanor keep up with me? Um, okay, I, I mean, can only be, say this. To be fair, y'all have already read that, like, to yeah, the internet yeah, online. Yeah, multiple <laughs> times. <laughs> um, Polly, you know. That is this game. <laughs> uh, let's see. Uh, she's the one that discovered the orgasm, all of that fun stuff, and this is the, like, the procreation one. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you, you threw gonna, me a you bone. Gonna, you gonna yeah, me a I, bone? I, I yeah. wish you guys the best. Yes, thank you. Orgasm? <laughs> sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That's why. Oh my god. OJ, you're totally right. I never just read yeah, it. It's fine. Is <laughs> it's fine. I'm going Woo! through it. Oh wow. It's an anagram. It's we, fine. You got some read fun. It before. Yeah, you got some fun. There you go. Let's trade places. All right. But before we do that, let's go back to answer some yeah, more questions. Yeah, let's answer some questions. Take this out and take some water. Drink some water. Oh yeah, great idea. I kind of need some water too. <laughs> All right. Let's see. Hmm. You can hear the, the typing. Yeah, can you hear? You got really quiet. It's okay. Um, <laughs> don't don't give me that face. You guys are fine. Congrats to the folks who got married in chat, by the way. Oh my god! Yeah, that's so woo! sweet. Congratulations, that's so everyone. Exciting. Oh my god, that's really cool. Oh, so um, sweet. Okay, all right, um, where were we? I think we're at Jody. Jody. All right. Um, would breaks. you ever consider recording and uploading your D and D sessions to the channel? Yes. That is a great question. Yeah. Because yes. The answer is absolutely. Um. We've been thinking about it for a while, but part of the challenge is that we do have weekly sessions currently, and also that um, our tech setup is already pretty janky to begin with, and then throwing in a whole bunch of other voices is a little tricky. Mm -hmm. So it's something that we're thinking about, it's something that we're working on, yep. uh, but I can't give you like a timeline on that, just because we need to do some- <gasps> Hello! We need to do some Sorry, tests first! Sorry, interrupted by another pet. <laughs> yes, 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 yes! Hello, hello, hello. Um, yeah, we have to do some some audio tests first and do sort of like a or do some trial runs. Yeah. Um, it's also I want to come out, up so. with the right yeah. story. I think yeah. um, we like our ongoing one. It might be weird because we'd be dropping you into like the middle of an ongoing campaign, which yeah. is technically the sequel to a different campaign. So it's like we'll figure it out. Um, mm -hmm. But yes, absolutely. Um, next question um, from yes. Jalen Gee. Uh, yep. What's the worst game you've ever played? The worst game I've ever. Well, that's a, see, that's hard because I've played some bad games, but then I immediately put them like out of like memory. Yeah. Um, like I forget about them, like really shitty games. Um. Uh. Okay, wait. So, same. Which is why originally my answer would have been I don't really play games that actively feel that gross to me. Yeah, yeah. Um, but there were two games that um, short one or short one and I recorded for the channel. That never never made it to see the light of day. Oh, really? Which is why he jokes about it a lot. Sean is always like, oh, Judah's gonna veto this game. <laughs> oh, she's gonna say no. It's because they're really, really bad. And if our commentary is not good enough to redeem it, I'm just like, nah. Yeah, just but it. um yeah. there was one, I think it's called One Night Trip, that I didn't play, but I literally could not finish watching Short One play it. I wow. watched like five minutes, was like, I can't I can't. I have wow. to and I can't. So I'm I'm done with it. Um, wow. um Yeah, it was bad. I'm trying to think of any mm. I mean, I know off the top of my head. This is. No, I don't. I don't know. I think that's yeah. fair. I think the I answer. The answer is, I put them out of my mind. Yeah. <laughs> and I play and I'm like, forget. that was shit. Bye. Yeah. It's um, like, like movies too. Like you watch some bad movies stick with you, but then those like really mediocre, like, like 20% on Rotten Tomatoes, those kind of disappear from your brain space because you just don't really need it anymore. Yeah. You know what yeah. I mean? That's fair. Yeah. Um, let's let's see. see. I think a bunch of people have been asking um, for some like games that we would play on the channel too. Uh, uh, Detroit, Persona, and Night in the Woods. Uh, um, no to Detroit um, only because I've watched Let's Plays of it. Um, and also I, I Detroit is one of those that um, I, I watched the Let's Play because I felt like I needed to be aware of it. it. It's, you know, it's a major game and also I've 
played the other cage games, but um, I, I personally was really, really infuriated by that game on a number of levels, mm -hmm. and I don't really want to give it any time. Have, I honestly, sadly, don't, because I just don't want to have, I don't have any interest in playing it. Mm -hmm. um, again, given what I already sort of know about it, mm -hmm. um, I like, I want to give it a chance, but I think what I'm just going to... I think what I'm personally gonna do is go watch a let's watch play. A let's play. Yeah. I think yeah. That's what I'm gonna oh, do. oh, hello. Back. Yeah, um, that's fine. Persona. Um, okay. Um. <laughs> here's the problem. Persona. Did you, guys, did you play? We played Persona for New Days. We played New which Days. Which is a fan-made fan dating game, game which yeah. is super good. I thought but, you guys played Arena. Did no. you not? Okay. Um, Arena we could do, mm -hmm. but main Persona games, as much as I love them, they are so long. And it took us two years to beat Dragon Age, which is only Dragon Age Origins, which is only like a like a four we or played, five hour we game. We played fifty hours of that yeah. game. Yeah. Um, so the idea of trying to tackle an a hundred plus hour game, because if we played it, that would be the way we played it, is just it's a lot. I, I don't. I, at least right now, especially with the way we record, um, I just don't think it's. Yeah, a, a good unfortunately. Bit. I mean, we love the yeah. Persona games. We have played. Oh my god. Yeah. I mean, I've played three, four, and five, or I've played. People? I played I played P3P, P3P, P4, P4 Golden, and P5, and you mm -hmm. played all of them. Um, I didn't finish one. Oh, okay. but I played the rest of them. Yeah. Okay. Um, so yeah, that's Persona. Um, it's something that we like. It, it, um, that's not a hard no, but at least right now it just doesn't make mm -hmm. sense. Okay. Uh, Night in the Woods. We actually start. Uh, Short one and I actually started you did. doing a playthrough that's of it, right. and then realized it wasn't voiced. Um, and we were starting a playthrough of it after after actually um, playing the Persona 4 New Days uh, playthrough, which had completely shot our voices mm -hmm. and destroyed that. any chance of us doing that. So that's definitely on the table. I love that game. Um, Short One loves that game. It's a great game, but- uh, That could be a game that maybe we play with the three of us. Yeah, I think that'd be fun. It could be a fun yeah. one. Yeah. But, uh, Gosh, the cat. I know, he's definitely <laughs> he's definitely here right now, isn't he? <laughs> um, hey, buddy. let's see, we've got some more oh, got a lot uh, of questions coming in. Yeah. Um, What's the first game you ever remember playing from uh, Phoenix Soul? Um, oh, wow. The Toy Story game on the Game Boy Brick. Uh, yeah. Ooh, that's, my, wow. that's my answer. That's, there's no complexity to that. I, what's the first one I remember playing? Okay, yeah, this is just not ideal. I mean, probably this is so boring, but probably just Pac-Man in a arcade like when I was five. Sorry. Or six. I have no yeah. idea if the mic can pick so. it up, but <laughs> Evan is just cackling over on the side. I have no idea what you're laughing at, but it gives me so much joy, so thank you. Oh, okay. Oh. <laughs> oh, Victor is in chat. There he is. Hi, Victor. Hello, Victor. Oh. Um, yeah, okay. Want to do one or two more? Yeah, let's see. Um, I've got uh, Tanja Jan set, asked, um, plans for future playthroughs? I'm gonna answer a question that we got offline um, on this one. I can confirm a game we're not playing, and I okay. feel kind of bad about doing that. Which we, we kind of already just did. Yeah, yeah. We, um, we get requests a lot, a whole, whole lot, for The Witcher 3, mm. um, and my answer to it is unfortunately the same answer that I gave Persona. It's not that we're not interested in doing it, it's just that that game without extras is 50 plus hours long, and then with extras, it's 100 plus hours long. Yeah. And the the challenge is if we played that, we couldn't play anything else. Right. When um, we're already playing two long form RPGs right yeah. now, um, maybe maybe one day when those are finished and off exactly. the table, we can open up to Witcher 3 or some sort of other similar like long form. Yeah, but um, I'm afraid RPG. if we did it now, it would go the way of like Crisis Core, where it's yeah. just we realized that that we couldn't record yeah. it and we, the other things. We started at the same playing time. Crisis Core, but then we're like, oh, this is also another long RPG. Yeah. yeah. That one got tabled, unfortunately. Yeah. Um, but let's see. But any actual future playthroughs that we have? Lined up any games? I know at some point you and I, I don't know if I can say this, are going to, we oh, want to play oh, Battle Yeah, we want to play Battle Chef. Yeah, so we're, we're going to definitely we're play Battle definitely Chef. We're definitely playing yeah. Battle Chef um, and, and then we have a bunch of like small things that we want to get to. Yeah. Like, there's also games that I want to play on the channel. Um, but we need to, I need to figure out, like, when we can record them, because they're sitting in that weird time range where they're, like, 10 plus hours. Right, so right. Like, there's a couple things, but I'm not gonna say more than that, because I can't confirm that they're gonna happen, so we'll see. Yeah. yeah. Um, um let's maybe see. do, like, one or two more? What do you think? Yep, uh, Say Teach is back again and says, in honor of Kit Kat, who is your favorite animal companion in a game? Ooh. Missile. Missile in, uh, Ghost Trick. 
That's my answer. Is he behind you? No, no. That's, that's not Missile, but oh, no. yes. Okay. That is from Ghost Trick. Yeah, uh, I know. Yeah. I uh, don't play Ghost Missile Trick. is the Pomeranian. Oh, yes! yes and Missile is amazing! <laughs> Missile is my favorite. Like, I love that game so much, but also I love Missile so much. Oh, that's this so is good. Um, let's see, my favorite animal companion? Um... Missile is a protagonist, though. Missile is not just an animal companion. Yeah, that's a Missile is. <laughs> um, let's see. Oh man, am I going back to New Vegas again? Uh, there's a temporary companion you can get in New Vegas, and it's um the the dog from the King. Uh, and it's I don't even play it. It's help. a dog so where you have to like replace his brain. And like, he, like he's oh, that's actually brain. really fun. And he's though. really cute, and you get him for a little while. Okay. Um, I'm pretty sure. Uh, maybe I just made that up right now, but I'm pretty sure he's like a temporary companion you can have. Also, I really like my Palco in uh, yeah in Monster uh, Monster Hunter right now. Um, I like I, Morgana. Does Morgana count? Morgana's not really an animal. Morgana's companion. not an animal. Yeah, animal. Morgana would take a lot of offense. Also, to I the don't back. like having Morgana around, <laughs> telling me I need to go to fucking bed when it's like eight o'clock at night. I want to go out and like. Work at the ramen shot and do like do and my he's like, shit. No, you've done stuff and today. And he's like, no, you, you did something else today. You need to be responsible. Rest up. I'm like, what if I just go upstairs and like do some pull ups and read or something? <laughs> Sorry, nope. kick ass. Just like giving scared. me this look yeah. right now. Um, okay, one more. Yeah, uh, one what time. is the first game you ever? Oh no, we've already done that. Yeah. Um, what is favorite novel? Favorite novel. Um, Boys Man's Fear from the King, uh, King Killer Chronicles, I think. Um. Mm -hmm. That's um, like an easy answer. I'm not even sure that's an accurate answer, but it's an amazing book, and I really so like that good. series. Yeah. yeah, it's so good. I'm. This is this is a series of novels, but I I love the Dragon uh, Dragon yeah. Rise of Pern series. Mm -hmm. That's I grew up reading those, and I really love them. Mm -hmm. And um, I mean, they're kind of they're a little dated now, mm -hmm. um, but they're really good. Oh, I also love um, uh, the um, oh shit, uh, what's the it's it's Roger Zelazny's main. Um, series. And now the word it's escaping me. Yeah, Thank Chronicles you. of Amber. Yeah. Wow, my brain just blanked out there. I'm, I'm happy that I managed to figure out what you meant Thank through you. context clues, but um, yes, Chronicles of Amber. I, yeah, yeah, I really like Amber too, and mm -hmm. I need to, I, I finished the, the Corrin cycle, and I still mm -hmm. need to finish the Merwin cycle. I've been meaning to pick it up, because you guys love that so much, yeah, and yeah, I just I, like, I know I need to read it. It's just a commitment. It's a, but, it's a great series. <laughs> but, yeah. uh, but I grew up with Dragon Rears. Do you not think the is any good? For... Yeah. I don't know if there is one. Oh, no, 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 no. I've never seen it. Yeah. Um, okay. So, um, any more? Any more ones right now? Yeah. Or then, look at, is there, a, let's see, is there a quick one we can do here? Uh, podcast. Do you guys listen to podcasts? Yes. Yes. Yes, we do. Quite a few. Um, uh, you got me listening to Small Town Murder. Which Victor got me able to listen yeah, to. Yeah, which is quite good. Yeah. Um, like, you know, I listened to My Brother and My Brother and Me in the Adventure Zone. Yes, yeah, um, uh, Radio Lab, um, yep, Friends at the Table, uh, a lot of stuff. The answer is um, yes, I listen to a lot of podcasts. I listen to, um, uh, Spooked for a while, too. It's like, spooked. like, um, it's a pretty short series. It's Snap Judgment Presents Spooked. It's like their, it was their October, like, Halloween-themed, um, okay. release of that, uh, of that series, and um, will you just oh hello, hello. welcome back. I need you to s like settle. Yeah, I like you, and I'm happy you're here, but I do need you to just kind of. Anyway, it's it's spook it's it spooky work. scary stories that are supposed to be true, mm -hmm. like you know. But I I'm like a horror fan, so I, I like that. So. All right, yeah, let's jump back into the game. Get back in, We've final got, like, week. Is this the final one? Yeah, let's final All right, week. let's God do, damn it, do it. it. I'm. Mm. Hey, kick it! It's okay. It's all right. It's okay. Oh, your your headphones are on. Yes. Now. Like, what's, what's the problem here? <laughs> the problem is that I need to get myself assembled again, and my cat. cat no. <laughs> oh, man, buddy, buddy. Oh, thank you, thank you so much for taking the cat. <laughs> he wasn't happy about that. Um, <laughs> Well, I topical. It. Oh my god. Thank you. Yes. Uh, <laughs> Top tier tech support. Thank oh, you. Let's see. <laughs> Removed cat when error was caused. <laughs> uh, everybody chooses an animal. This is topical. <laughs> I'm gonna uh, say Kit Kat. Just say your choice I out loud. To. Yeah, you have to yeah. say Kit Kat. Um, I don't fucking. Uh, 
Bottlenose dolphin. Yes, yeah. fine. <laughs> Player orders decided based on how likely it uh, would be for the selected animal to take well, over shit. humankind. Bottlenose dolphin. Yeah. Kit Kat could not no. fight his way out of a paper bag, so no, I don't think it's, <laughs> it's him. I mean, normally cats are like, you think of them as like, oh, these methodical... Like nobody who has ever owned a cat. But no, they're that. not. That's oh, totally that. false. Yes, uh, especially for this one. They're just doofy. Um, let's see. Um, and let's... needy for affection. Yep, that's very accurate. Um, uh, what do I want to do? I think I just want to go. Well, how am I? Oh my god, my stats are. I'm okay with this. Do I want to get? I don't really need any more smarts. I guess I can push more boldness. You could, because my fun is really high. Maybe. Oh, oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> wow. I was not expecting that. <laughs> oh my god! Yeah. Holy shit! Why are you such a problem? <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, you, I mean, I think. Where do you get boldness again? Uh, at the room? bathrooms. Oh, the bathrooms. Yep. Right. And they're um, free. The the store isn't there right now. Oh, that's right. Uh, oh wait, wait, what? The, the store's not. You're good. Oh, oh, you mean they're free, as in the bathrooms yeah. are free, the store's not yes. there. I see. Um, yeah, I'm gonna go there. Okay. I'm gonna go skip class. Since I <laughs> did class the other day, <laughs> that day you skip class intending to spend uh, the term in the bathrooms, uh, but you encounter three wild hyenas on the way there. Uh, who the fuck runs security here? Anyway, you subdue them with the help of a chair comb. A hair comb. A chair comb? It's what you said, you gotta live with it. Hair comb. You gotta live with it, Allison. God bless the monster scouts and the idiotic scenarios they prepared you for. Uh, with their chair combs. <laughs> by the time you get They're to very the specific, That's those monster nice. scouts. Yep. Uh, by the time you get to the bathrooms, you've totally gained plus two boldness. Wow, I gained boldness on the way to the bathrooms. It's great. Uh, in the middle of everything, oh, a yes, portal opens group. up and swallows Vera, Polly, and Liam. You dive in to rescue them straight into... Oh, God. Yes! Oh, boy. You the gotta season be finale of the Interdimensional Bachelor! We haven't seen him at all this playthrough. We haven't, but he's here now. Yep. He's here now. <laughs> Holy shit. Good lord. <sighs> Help. I'm in danger of spraining my eyes from, the roll from rolling them so hard. <laughs> <laughs> I love my Liam voice. He's very, very high Sorry, pitched. I realize now this is mostly you. It's good. Um, I love it. That's fine. Uh, oh my god, are we on a game show? But the important character is you, and yeah, that's it's what matters. True, it's fair. Yes, indeed. Tonight, you three will answer a series of trivial, I mean trivia, questions. Whoever gets the most points becomes my. I'm gonna win. I don't even care what the prize is. Your what? Your wife? What a revolting premise. <laughs> <I> fucking love <laughs> her. <laughs> So you're saying we're supposed to respond to a series of questions and scenarios. Our answers to which make us more or less likely to achieve a romantic outcome with you. Y yeah. That's extremely problematic. I can't think of anyone who would ever want to play such a tawdry dating game. <laughs> Thank you, Liam. I really appreciate your meta. Everybody stop raising reasonable concerns so I can hear the first question. <laughs> That's the spirit. Question number one. God. Describe your ideal marriage proposal. Uh, before Polly can answer, you buzz in yourself. Now's your chance to give an answer that will end the competition and send the prince packing. <laughs> um, I'd like to present... Uh, <laughs> I present you with my grandmother's wedding ring, still attached to my naked grandmother. Oh my god. I should have put the pets away. <laughs> I love them oh, so much, but I should have put the pets away. It's okay, sorry. Um, all right. Having fun. Um, jaw unhinges, unhinges bees, bees pour, pour out. out. Is that fun? That sounds like fun to me. Is that fun? Or boldness. Um, I present you with my grandmother's wedding ring, yes. still attached to my naked grandmother. Fun? Um, I think I might want to go with this one. What do you think? I'm really kind of kind of torn don't here. Know. Yeah, I don't know. Um. I mean, what could this be? Boldness? I, I actually, to be completely honest, I had no idea but what this these But this could two. also be creativity. It's revolting. But the idea is that it's revolting, right? Like, we're trying yeah. to turn the prince off so much that he doesn't want to date us. It's like, would he be, like... Would he take the grandma? Like... I mean, John Hinges could be charming. I mean, for all we know... I'm going with the bees. Alright, go for yeah. it. Yes! So bold. Bold. There you go. Uh, you unhinge your jaw and let the bees pour out. You definitely couldn't do this back in your home dimension. <laughs> ah, stop that. You're supposed to answer with words, not bees. Perfect. You probably should have specified that. Bees seem like a legitimate answer to me. What are you- what? Are you against avant-garde forms of expression? Words are so passe. 
Oh man, I was gonna say bees. You totally stole my answer. Wait, wait, I got it. Pauline hinges her ghostly jaw and thousands of locusts pour out. Holy shit, she's terrifying. Damn, you wish this you had been, This has been a playthrough with Polly. I have to say, I'm leaving this terrified, like genuinely this is, like, concerned. like revealing so yeah, much about her. Okay. Yeah, okay. Uh, damn, you wish you thought of that. Locusts are way cooler. That's true. Uh, it doesn't matter though. The prince is so busy fending off bugs, you can, uh, he can't focus on keeping you in his dimension. You all teleport back home. Uh, you're pleased with your victory, although your throat's a little hoarse. Uh, your throat's a little hoarse, which is ironic because a little hoarse isn't what came out of your mouth. <laughs> I added that. <laughs> you gave plus two creativity and plus one boldness. Thank you. You're thank welcome. you. Thank you. Fear itself. Your turn. It's time. Fear um, itself. Heck, do I just. What do I do? You're really. We're gonna start class. Models. That's good. There we go. Uh, that day, your teacher delivers an amazing and creative performance that blows all your minds. It ends up being a sensation on YouTube. Uh, your teacher gains plus ten coolness, but who cares? He's not trying to romance. You're not, uh, he's not trying to romance your classmates, or is he? We hope not. <laughs> uh, oh, and you gain plus two smarts. Hooray! Right. Yay! Later, you see Damien packing a bag. Oh, what does that have corpse in it? I'm going away for the weekend. To detention. I have fucking detention again. Why? I, just because I rigged the teacher's lounge door with boob, booby traps that poured silky piss on whoever opened it. With boobs. You just like, boobs. I rigged the teacher's lounge boobs. door with boobs. <laughs> with boobs. Uh, sorry. I'm being, I'm being <laughs> unbelievably not, not immature. Helping. I'm being super immature. I'm not helping at all. I mean, uh, not that this game is mature to begin no, with. No, but so. I am doubling down on it. Yeah. Um, okay. Uh, I mean, I didn't even set anything on fire this time. Uh, let me spill the tea. This school is strict as fuck. Anyway, just bra just brainstorming some ways to keep uh, keep things entertaining beyond fucking ditching. Do it. Do it. Just fucking, just fucking ditch. ditch. Do, Do it. it. Uh, cross species economic and social barriers to make lifelong friends with a diverse group of students in detention, uh, and find out through silly dancing that you're not so different after all. Damn. Why did I think of that? I mean, I just did, but it, I didn't consider it as a serious option. If I skip detention, what are they going to do? Give me detention? I can do anything. I can make a bonfire on the desks, drink off on the potion, off into the potions, and just skip detention forever and wreck as much havoc as I want. Fuck yeah, have it! I read well, that out loud again. You did. Well, <laughs> here we go. Uh, you may have created a monster, but at least he's your monster. You gain plus two smarts and plus one. Look boldness. at your monster. I am so happy with I the hope, monster I I've hope created. You're happy with your monster. Uh, everybody oh. chooses an occupation. Say your choice out loud. Um, scuba diver. Well, that's pretty good. Um, uh, pizza hut delivery man. Okay. That's also really good. Yeah, That's thank you. super good. <laughs> I, I kind of feel on it today. Yeah, player order is decided based on how funny a TV show called America's Next <laughs> the Delivery Man. All right, okay, there you go. Yes. Congratulations. Killing it. Well done. <laughs> thank you. All right, week three. All right, Eleanor. Um, oh, over here. You and me. Let's do this. Yeah, Miranda. Yeah. All right, I'm trying to comprehend your request. What is there to comprehend? It's really simple, Miranda. Take my cell phone, oh, snap a pic of me face planting into my food with my eyes closed and tongue out. I'm so glad you had as much trouble with that line as I have had every time I have to yeah. read that line. It's that bad. Was, that was but weird. Where for? Right here, Miranda. You're about to point out. You're about to point out that wherefore means why, but luckily Polly elaborates uh, elaborates on her own, so you don't <laughs> have to look like a fucking know it all. Uh, there I go. Shit in the mic again. Um, <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. It's been a long time. We yeah. usually don't record for this long, yeah. like these big long it's chunks. Good, though. We usually record for like thirty minutes. We're like, we're gonna take a break. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we're, gonna we're gonna watch videos on YouTube yeah. for a little while. Yeah. Um, it's a new meme, Miranda. Like planking or dabbing. It's called food poisoning. And it's dope af or AF. AF. It's dope af. I know it's yeah. AF, but okay. it's dope af. Dope af. <laughs> Don't you have cool trends in your own It's okay, it's better I'm than cool. short one looking up how to pronounce- short one and I looking up how to pronounce ayahuasca for like 10 minutes being like, I wonder how you pronounce this. Hmm, I suppose we do. Oh, sorry. Oh, I have a fun trend- uh, we have a fun trend called Revere Your Rulers. It's where you show nothing but the utmost devotion for the royal family. If you're good at it, you get lots of likes on social media and also not executed. 
Do you ever listen to yourself? Uh, do you ever listen to yourself when you speak? I certainly don't because <laughs> it's okay. Go shit. on. Um, I bet you know some pretty cool trends, don't you, Elmar? Totally. Heck uh, yeah. Heck yeah, you do, don't you? Uh, I surely do. It's entitled Silverware Wear, and it's where you take your most expensive cutlery and dress in a fancy tiny yep, outfit. It's called yep, fucking it's dying. Called dying. Yes. <laughs> dying is my fucking fave. I mean, listen, the first time I did it, I was like, hmm, okay, now I don't, <laughs> now I don't get to be alive anymore. But then when all the cool ghost stuff kicked in, I was like, oh, gee, dying is awesome. Everyone should die. <laughs> I'm not sure I'm into this dying trend, but I do know that daddy's brain helps many peasants achieve this meme, or meme as short one would say. So it's <laughs> nice to know that uh, they're becoming super popular in social media in the process. We can't pronounce anything, so it's Mimi. fine. <laughs> Remind me not to hang out in Miranda's kingdom on break. But hey, Eleanor, maybe you and I could hang out and do some dying together. Y Yay! Maybe? maybe? Yeah, yeah. She will definitely kill you. Like, yep. that we've, we've established shit. pretty strongly. <laughs> Scott, and also Damien, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> yes. You sit down to enjoy a nice normal meal with a spooky high cafeteria as usual. Lol, well, JK, nothing, uh, something fucked up is always going on in here. And today is no different. Oh, hello, fear itself. Uh, did, <laughs> fear itself. First did you want to come and sit with us, or...? Uh, imaginary friend, no one else is here. Their imaginary friend roars, uh, uh, and the whole cafeteria shakes. Okay, fear itself, you have some smarts. Uh, you're probably going to figure this out pretty quickly. Hmm. Well, oh, sorry. <laughs> you're good. Uh, why do we have a beast under our table? Why don't, uh, why don't you take a guess? He's asking you to guess because we totally forgot our plan. Oh my god. Scott, no we didn't, shut up! We were going to teach it the piano, or maybe the saxophone. I lost my notes. No worries, no notes needed. You know exactly what they should do with this wild beast. Uh, the wild beast should be the new so uh, school mascot. Put him in the sports jersey and let's rock, go team! And it's obvious you brought such a beast into the kitchen to turn it into the next Monster Chef champion. <laughs> uh, so you can sp split the big Monster Chef cash prize, yeah. Okay. What a kick-ass idea! Which was obviously ours. You're right, that was our idea. Hooray! We're geniuses! <laughs> I fucking love Scott! I know, and I have, uh, so I, <laughs> and I have just what we need here. Training montage music. <laughs> Suddenly you start a training montage in which the three of you try to teach cooking to the wild beast. You suck at it, since you're not big chefs yourselves, and also because it's a wild beast, and it keeps devouring people and wrecking havoc. But it's quite an epic training montage. Afterwards, you're all sitting excited in front of a portable TV, uh, in a portable TV. The Monster Chef show is about to start. You're holding cute, supportive signs, and you even got yourself a custom-made t-shirt of the Wild Beast! Wow! Whoa! This is the big day! Also, how is it that we train the Wild Beast, and it's now on show if it's still noon and the cafeteria time hasn't even ended? <laughs> Time distortion, you I, know. I will say, right. I actually was thinking about that. I'm like, I wonder how they're gonna justify that. I don't oh think they're gonna- they immediately were like, you can't justify that. Oh, That's man. Just, yeah. Scott, time works in serious <laughs> ways when it comes from our train- when it comes to training montage. It is, in fact, time distortion. Is, yeah. Yep, it's just time distortion. Yeah. Okay, boys, I hope it isn't- uh, I hope it isn't a souffle challenge. We know the wild beast isn't good at souffle. It's just have those big chunks of, like, yep. meringue, yeah, and it's right. terrible. Oh, man. Uh, <laughs> the wild beast isn't good at anything, aside from devouring people and wreaking havoc. Uh, you quietly watch the show. The challenge is- Beef Wellington! Fuck yeah! No souffle! Not so surprisingly, once the challenge begins, the wild beast just starts to devour the other contestants and destroys the show Perfect. set. You see the judge screaming, WHO THE FUCK LET A WILD BEAST ENTER THE COMPETITION?! The wild beast is disqualified. Well, I guess that's it. We might not have won the cash prize, but we won the most valuable prize- valuable of prizes. The prize of laughing at our wild beast fucking up everything in the Monster Chef set, which is a memory we will cherish forever. I really like this one. Wow. I really he like this like, one. He was like, really like, this is a great accomplishment. Yeah. This is beautiful. I oh, anyway. Oh, man. Okay. Is Damien really uh, ready to cherish the memories that include you? Wow, we. <laughs> Let's trade places. Uh, everybody choose a movie. Oh, man. Oh, God. Um... Uh, the new Poltergeist. Specifically the new one. Pineapple Express. Okay. A player has decided on how idiotic it would be to do a 10 hour remake of the selected movie. Oh. I think I win. I think you won. I think, I win. I think you got that one. <laughs> yeah. 
It's mainly Damn. idiotic because, like, oh god, would that be intolerable? Oh god, that would uh, just be too much. It would be really bad. <laughs> hey, sweetheart. All right. Um, all right, evening. I'm gonna oh, get my. Wow, your bonus is looking good. Yeah, I was yeah. actually gonna double down on it, but I don't actually need to, so I'm gonna go so. ahead and get my fun up. Okay. Then. Uh, outdoors. Yeah. Here we go. Oh my god, look at you. <laughs> He's so good. <laughs> I think his little buddy is on his foot this time, which is like, ah. Uh, uh, that day during recess, you start a half hour rave that goes full crazy. You spot yes. Juan, the small, uh, magical Latina cat who seems a bit spad. Uh, he explains to you that he's worried people are so used to calling him Juan, the small, magical Latina cat, that now everyone defines him only by his size, magicality, ethnicity, and species. He's more than that. You correct him. You don't see him as such as simplistic terms and convenient definitions. It's just that there are around 23 other different Juans in the school. <laughs> so adding all of that is, uh, to his name is quite necessary. You tell him you'll never forget about him and the crazy adventures you both lived together in Monster Prom's prequel, Monster Middle School. <laughs> you have a great time remembering those crazy stories. You gain plus two fun. Wow, oh, that's Juan. good. Can I date Juan? Yeah. Um, you're daydreaming about uh, how Damien would look walking down the aisle towards you. That's really scary. Wow. That's a scary concept. <laughs> I think that's going to be the point. When you see Damien walking down the aisle, hallway, towards you. Yo, uh, that's oh, you. that's me. Yeah. Yo, so listen. Don't be uncool about this or make it a big deal. Make it a big thing, but I think you're pretty rad. Aww. Like, maybe even as rad as I am. I don't think that's true. I don't think that's true. <laughs> oh, he's blushing. <laughs> so I thought it might be sweet if we could, you know... Do some crime together! Absolutely freaking Would you be into that? Yeah. I mean, could you even fucking handle that? Um, yes, of course you could, and would, and should. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> what kind of crime are you into these days? Quick, suggest the most badass and romantic crime for an excellent date with Damien. Tax fraud and light treason. Dinner and a movie, only the dinner is arson and the movie is also freaking arson. Yeah, arson and arson. Arson and arson? Sounds like my kind of night. Damien picks you up and presents you with a bouquet of matches and lighters, which you blush and happily accept. Oh, budding romance, it's so good. You smile demurely as Damien pulls out your chair for you and then sets it on fire. You confidently order off the menu for both of you before setting both menus on fire. After a delicious meal, the two of you flirtily squabble over whose absolute pleasure it would be to pick up the check as the flames rage high all around you. No, 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 I'll take it. No, 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 I'll take it. No, 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 it's... <laughs> yeah. Beams are falling in the yeah. background. No, 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 I got it. Yeah. Ready to head out for more arson? You know it. Heck yeah, you are. The two of you head to a movie, immediately setting your ticket stubs on fire. That's small beans, but that's okay. Yeah, that's fine. You take your seats, Little you set things. the row in front of you on fire, you talk through the previews as the flames leap higher and higher, bathing you in romantic glow. It's the hottest date of all time in so, so many ways. Yay, congrats! Thank you. Hey, I had a really nice time tonight. The only thing better than the arson was the, was more, the arson. more arson. Yes! Is he actually blushing, or is it the heat from all of this so much arson? OMFG. Oh my fucking god. This date is literal fire, but no, like, actually literal fire. You gain plus two charm and plus two boldness, and also- And you're on fire. Serious, serious lifetime burns. Yep, third degree burns. Pretty bad. There you um, go. Oh, that's me. Um, let's see, where do I want to go? So you took- you took my- you took my- Yeah, sorry, my... but you're pretty good there. Yeah. Um, I guess I'll go to the bathroom. Well- I mean, I could go somewhere, like, super random that I haven't been to yet, like, uh... Yeah, your stats are really good. The library, where do I get the smarts? You get money there. Oh, money. Yeah, go for it. Uh, that's- I have neglected that stat, and I don't think it matters, but... Probably not, but whatever. it's a good stat. It's like, a good stat, and whatever, I'll, I'll have an interaction You don't have negative calling. four in anything, so I think yeah, you're doing fine. Fair. I'm gonna go here. Um, you spend some time, um... Wait, that day you spend some time on the library's PCs, sending malicious spam emails in hopes of stealing other people's money. Doesn't sound very nice, but uh, who's really the one to blame if they respond to such a blatant scam? Uh, you lose minus 10 karma, uh, which isn't a stat in this game, so who cares? And you gain plus two money. All right. Uh, but none of that matters. Uh, you're late to meet Polly for more party experiments. All right, oh, you're the party right. scientist. We're the party scientists okay. now. All right, our research is progressing so far, but we've got a little, lim a very limited sample size. Wow, that's, that's pretty smart. Um, <laughs> I need to know that we can make any party the best, not just some parties. So tomorrow morning, we're gonna crash a funeral. <laughs> if we can make that fun, we can make anything fun. So brainstorm time, uh, how can we make the fun, how can we put the fun back in funeral? 
fun roll. Because <laughs> that's what that Yep, was. that is in fact that. Um, possess the body of the deceased, bringing him back for the last, Ooh. for one last party. Oh god, that's real good. That's really good. Oh shit. I that's like that really one good. A lot. Yeah, I'm doing that. Yeah. So fun! Yes! There you go. Later that night. Yeah! Woo! That was awesome! I was totally inside that dude! <laughs> and then when they were like, does anyone else want to say a few words? And I was like, oh, oh, me! They totally freaked out. And then I was like, let's turn this funeral into a wedding! And I got married to like 11 people. <laughs> Who are all widows because I left that dude in a heap on the dance floor, but whatever, weddings roll! <laughs> hey Eleanor, you know what? I think we're getting pretty close to the true formula for a rad party. You're the best science partner I've ever had. I guess she hasn't had a lots of science partners. Uh, you doubt she even knows the real definition of science, but she's just she's just too happy for you to correct her now. Every time. I'm just so distressed yeah. by Polly. <laughs> Every time. God. <laughs> I mean, I guess she is a ghost. She's a poltergeist. I understand like that. What they do. I I don't know. There's I mean, just something about this playthrough where I'm like, oh my god. To, you just wanted a day with Damien where you like burned everything. Yeah. yeah. So. But it wasn't. It was just killing people. It wasn't yeah. like manipulating their corpses in order to marry the widows who are present at this right, right. funeral. <laughs> uh, <laughs> well, I don't know. She just she always goes that extra mile. I feel like. Oh man. Oh, oh. Oh. Uh, come on, the night's still young. Let's turn an all-night uh, laundromat into an epic rave. I did just say that's only murder, though, so, like, admittedly, I probably don't have a very good leg to stand on in this exact moment. Um, those washing machines don't uh, don't- uh, those washing machines don't know what hit them. Uh, you gain plus two creativity and plus one fun. Yay! Oh my god, We're the monster pump goes here! Okay, I'm gonna- I'm gonna all do right. it! I'm gonna freaking ask so, out! do we- are you gonna ask now? Or let's go ahead and ask, okay, and let's then do we it. can we can chill with folks at the end of the, yep, the that thing. Sounds but great. Damien, you and me, yes. Yo. Oh, me. Uh, let's see, Polly, let's go, let's do it. It's yes. Oh, that's really cute. Her voice is really yeah. cute. Okay. All right, see yourself. Well, you can do it. You finally pluck up the courage to ask your beloved to go to Monster Prom with you. Oh, that's you. That's that's you. you. Sorry, prom with you? You dumb fuck. What? What? Were my stats not good enough? What? Oh, oh there fucking... we go. Wow! <laughs> Damn it, Damien! Woo! Rude! <laughs> Boo! That's a Very fucking rude. great idea. But also, I'm happy you're going to with me. Um, are you some kind of genius or something? I'll tell you what you are. My date to prom! You know it, buddy. They're cute. Aww, look at them be super look at cute. Them. I like it a lot. Okay, That's I'm, so cute. I'm peeved with you, D Damien. I'm peeved, Ooh. but that was very cute. Prom, yes. that was awesome. You and Damien reflected on all the fucked up misadvent uh, misadventures you had over the past few weeks. Uh, you've definitely been your worst self. And some <laughs> good laughs, you conclude, well, I'm definitely going to hell. He stayed silent for a bit after that. Then he added, you know what? I see no problem with that. Best night ever. Okay, sure, whatever. I'm, I'm, I'm happy. Yay. I'm gonna go with I'm happy. That's good. That everything worked out, even though I went to the we, shop we a few start, times when I shouldn't have done that. It was a rocky start, but we got there. It was definitely I got a rocky back. start. Yep. Thank um, you so much for throwing me a bone that one time, because otherwise I would have gone to prom sad and alone. Um, and yeah, and that would, I, but so far you have a, a, like an unbroken win streak. I, I do. realized I could have actually sabotaged you. Really you really could have messed with yep. my unbroken win streak, yep. but it's still maintained. I thought about that when you went to the, to the shop. I was like, oh, I could ruin her. But then <laughs> oh, I, I could didn't ruin her. <laughs> oh my so. god. <laughs> but I'm a good friend. Thank you. Thank you so <laughs> much for being such a good friend to us. You're welcome. Uh, Go ask right. your date to prom. Uh, what? Prom? Of course. Prom night will be another perfect opportunity to conduct our experiments in par on in party science. So clever of you. That's why you're the best science partner. I don't think I've ever like encountered this before. I think this is a special ending. It's is weird. It? This is weird. I think so. It's yeah. super chill for a special ending, yeah, but I is. think it's a special ending. That's not what you mean. But sure, why not? Uh, sooner than expected, prom night is here, and the two of you are finally ready to crack the ultimate party formula. Uh, you free some wild animals, do lots of ecstasy, uh, you awaken the dead, and you even do the dance of joy. Uh, everything is perfect. You feel floaty and full of energy, uh, you see beautiful shiny lights, you feel connected to everyone. Obviously most of- obviously most of that is thanks to the ecstasy, but still! Yeah, this is definitely yeah. a, a special ending wow. because that ties into the beginning. Yes. Yeah, there you go. Uh, you. you feel like you've conquered the night and put a flag with your with your names on the pole of life itself. Uh, then dawn comes. 
But, you, uh, but now you're on a hill by the sea, watching the sun slowly come up, no idea how you got here. But who cares? You're at peace with watching the gentle tide of the morning. When you realize Polly has her hand over yours, she looks at you. Oh, yeah. you know look what? at that! Oh, you got a little oh, picture! I got a special picture! This might be the this might be the Molly talking, but I think I finally got it. All these parties have been wildly different, yet all of them have been the very best. I put a lot of thought into it, and I can only think of one thing that they all had in common. I think the formula to a perfect party must be sharing it with the right people. Oh my god, this is really cute! This is really sweet this for somebody so who scared cute. me for the entirety of this wow. playthrough. Uh, you don't answer. Uh, you just hold her hand and spend the morning watching the sun slowly coming up over the sea together. Mm -hmm. Oh that's my god, really that's super cute! Was I that a secret that, ending? Yeah, you like got a said, secret ending! Yes, we did it! Oh my god, I need a drink of water. Yeah, no, I... <laughs> Holy shit! Oh wow. my gosh. That was very, very fun. I'm Whoa. taking my headset out. Wow! Oh my god, that was really, really were, fun. I love this game so much. I uh, love this game so freaking much. This was so Every time cute. I play it, it just makes me very happy. I want to get to the credits so we can let those run. Yeah. Uh, she wants, oh, so, oh, it's a little follow-up. Oh yeah, um, it's okay. Yeah. We're through. Damien, Damien he's interior an interior designer, designer and it's does fine. it burn everything? Yes. yes. Excellent. Oh my god. Go <laughs> Holy Keep shit. going. Okay. There we go. I don't. There could have been stuff in there, but it doesn't know. matter. It's gone. We had already we committed it. to it. Yeah. Yes. Oh uh, my god, we did it. That was great. Good job. Yeah, you played a monster. I played a monster from. Yay! There Thank you, you guys. Oh my god, that was- thank you, Woo! thank you! <laughs> thank you! <laughs> thank you guys! You guys are amazing! There too. Also, thank you guys so much for, for yep. checking this, thank this you. has been amazing. Thank you to Julian and Evan for managing the chat over there. Um, oh, okay, well, you know what, I'm really happy yes. for both of you. Yeah. I have some questions that I'm gonna ask later, yeah. but I'm yeah. very happy for you. Well, do you wanna answer a couple of yeah. questions? Yeah, let's, let's jump in and yeah. answer a few uh, final questions. Yeah, if you guys um, in the chat have any more questions for us, you can just feel free to like throw them, in, throw them up for us. Um, yeah, we've got them right in front of us here. Uh, so quick see. stuff. Who is our actual personal favorite Monster Prom character from SS Dork? Um, I think a tie between Liam and Howell. But I will say a lot of that just comes down to the fact that I enjoy voicing them. Mm -hmm. Like, I tend to be more enamored with characters that I get to make say silly things mm -hmm. and, like, uh, you know, delve into their personalities. So, um, yeah. Uh, I think Liam and Howell. I really like Polly. Mm -hmm. I She's really, really like fun. Polly and, uh, and Vera. Polly and Vera are my two favorites, mm -hmm. I think. Um, uh, but then Damien's really fun too. But I think, mm -hmm. yeah, Polly and Vera. Um, I also adore Miranda. I really, really do. Um, <laughs> she just makes me smile. That that roller coaster, man. I know. Wow. Um, <laughs> Bubs asks any favorite board games. <laughs> I'm not. Yeah, I, I'm not. No, no, no. I gotta keep going. I, gotta, I can't oh, get distracted, man. guys. Um, um, okay, uh, any favorite board, games? favorite board um, games? My favorite is probably Betrayal in the House on the Hill mm -hmm. or Betrayal, Betrayal at Baldur's Gate. Um, I like both of those yeah. a lot. Um, uh, I mean, I also, like, we play a lot of board games, mm -hmm. so... Um, does, a, does a card board game count? Like, like a, Fun Employed? Like or? Fun Employed? Yeah, no, yeah. absolutely. That was a great little game that Victor found, and it's... It's so much fun. The first time we played it, we played it with a huge group of people of like mm -hmm. ten or twelve people, and the first person who like pulled his cards like just started like straight up role playing like in yeah. his roles, and it just set the tone for everybody there, and we were dying. Um, so Fun Employed is like a role playing game. It's like a card based role playing game where you have it's to. Like, it's like Cards Against Humanity, sort of. Mm -hmm. um, I feel like, but they're in order to sell it, you have to like craft a narrative. Yeah. Whereas yeah. Cards Against Humanity, you have to, but it's contained to the cards. Right, right. Whereas the cards almost don't matter in Fun Employed. It's <laughs> more just about, like, your ability to sell a concept. Yeah, yeah. So, you, yeah, it's great. basically, it's, you go, or you draw cards and you go around the table and, um, uh, you Sorry, have a job interview. Another question. And you gain, like, ridiculous, like, features from your resume and you mm -hmm. have to, like, like, justify them in your interview. Mm -hmm. um, and it's it's quite fun. Uh, uh, quickly see. answering uh, answering Jody. Uh, Jody, I actually made the Cecil uh, plushie. Uh, she asked where I got the Cecil plushie, uh, and I made it during a short-lived stint where I like tried to sew things. Um, she made she made some really dope shit. You made me. Um, they're uh, all kind of shittily made because they're all falling apart now. Really, but like, I have a Joltik. She made me a, a Joltik for my birthday one yeah. year, and I actually almost brought it to put it behind this, but oh. I I couldn't find it. Mm -hmm. um, so let's see. Let's see. Um, uh, let's see. We've already answered first game you remember playing. I don't think um, I answered. Oh, I did answer that. I just I was boring to Pac-Man. Um, oh, uh, final final round of stuff, which is um, 
have you played blank games? It looks like a bunch of people are asking questions about that. Yeah. Um, so uh, some of the games. I've not played Dreamfall chapters. Uh, I kept meaning to, or Dreamfall. I kept meaning to, and then I didn't. That's it. That's the full story. Um, yeah. Let's see. Uh, Adventure Quest. I've not played it. I haven't played it either. Yeah. Either. Overwatch. Uh, I know a lot about Overwatch, but I've never played it. It's just kind of one of those that, Same like, thing. Yeah. I, I know that if I start playing it, I won't stop. That's fair. Yeah, <laughs> and I'll, I'll get really into it. But now that the new hero's out, I think I'm going to have to play it. Yeah, now that Wrecking Ball's out, I'm like, oh shit, now mm -hmm. I got to play I gotta play Overwatch. Because I wanted it to be a love. jetpack cat. But I'm oh. happy. With, I'm really happy with the hamster. He's cute. I like the hamster ball. He's, 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 he's very, very cute. cute. It's a good concept. Yeah. Um, let's see. Oh, um, uh, questions that we got online. And then I think we're going <laughs> to... You've been a disaster, buddy. Uh, then I think we're going to wrap pretty soon. Um, we got a question of where the penguin comes from uh, in our icon and in our, like, in slate. Uh, and the answer is kind of really long-winded and not super interesting, but I can give like a, a quick summary of it. Um, his name is Mr. Ploppers, and he was a squishable. Um, like this thing? Yeah, like this thing. Uh, he that, was the same size, right? Yeah, he was yeah. about the same size. He was actually technically not a squishable. I think he was like a TY plush or something like that. Mm -hmm. But uh, he was Short One's like companion stuffed animal growing up. Um, and we used to like always have him with us when we were playing games uh, when we were kids. And then he became like, kind of like a internal inside joke between Short One and I, because when he was 11, he made one of his first YouTube videos, which was this terrifying, terrifying, like horror video um, about Mr. Ploppers. Oh God. Set with the song. It. It's so <laughs> scary. And it, it's set to the song that's used in the, the outro. And so it's just like, it's a cute little thing that, that we share. Um, so we decided that we'd, we'd include the penguin. And, and, now, and now he's our mascot. Yeah, exactly. So, now he's yep. our mascot. <laughs> Um, um, there's apparently a bunch of marriages going on in the chat here. What, what is happening? There's so many marriages. What is oh going my God. on? Um, oh, actually, We're yeah. getting married. <laughs> um, let's see. Uh, we have some more questions here. Oh. Um, D and D, D, &D question. question. What's your favorite race and class to play? Greetings from, from the, the Netherlands. Netherlands. Oh Hello. my goodness! Thank, Thank you, you by Tech Hazard. Um, it's weird because I don't like characters all that often no, like I definitely I mean, have my favorites but I don't know if I'd want to play them long term that's fair yeah like um clerics are probably my favorite clerics um, are awesome yeah I and really I, really like clerics. I'm playing a cleric right I'm playing a tempest cleric right now and she's great mm -hmm. like she's so much fun I like playing her before that I played um uh, Circle of the land druid mm -hmm. um forest druid and druids are Amazing. They're so overpowered. They're really OP. I love them. But and I also I love, love them, them from like a narrative perspective. Yeah. I think they're super fun, but like god are they powerful. Yeah. And they're like kind of frustrating for like a DM because mm -hmm. I'm like, oh, I forgot you could do any of that. Yeah. I yeah. I Yeah, they, <laughs> they can do so everything. They're they can so do everything. They're they're, they're jack of every trade. They, but they um, can tank, yeah, they great. can heal, they can they can just do it all. Yeah, so I I think druids are my favorite. Druids and clerics are probably tied. Um I also played an arcane trickster, and I really like them too. I think I love having the versatility between mm -hmm. being like a sneaky, stabby rogue and doing like a little bit of magic. Yeah, um, that's they're that's very fun. pretty awesome. Yeah. Um, a favorite race, though? Um, I don't actually have an answer to that. I don't think I've, I mean, they my all... favorite NPC that I've played was a tiefling, but that's like not a that's not a thing. Yeah, like... yeah. Um, I don't know. I mean, I. I feel like it would be really predictable for me to say Dragonborn. No, Dragonborn, absolutely. I love Dragonborn. Especially <laughs> kind of like alien Dragonborns yeah, that you designed. Yeah, yeah. They're really um, cool. Yeah, they kind of, yeah. I, I made I made mine kind of look like a cross between a lizard and the predator. Yeah. Um, no, that's really accurate <laughs> yeah. because because he was from space. I mean, he was, he was an actual yeah. alien species. So yeah. you're like, look, okay, I'm going to lean um, into it. So, uh, yeah, I like, I like Dragonborn. And um, uh, I think halflings are pretty cool, too. Um, mostly because they're like... Um, so, okay, actually, this is a perfect final question, except for Julian is writing another question right now. <laughs> Wait a sec. Um, uh, are we gonna play here. Dragon Age Awakening? Um, I don't know. <laughs> huh? Oh. 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 Are we back? We are back? back? We good? It's good, because we're, we're wrapping. We're pretty close yep, to wrapping. We're finishing up. Um, question is, are we gonna play Dragon Age Awakening? I don't know. 
Um, like yeah, probably sure. not right now. It's not in our lineup, mm-hmm. but um, maybe we'll we, see. We we need to take a little break from uh, origins. Just origins yeah. in general. And we we need to take a step back from origins. But for maybe a bit. after Inquisition. Yeah, yeah, that that's very possible. that's quite possible. Um, let's... and then the final thing is, uh, is there any idea when the next stream would be? Is this going to be a regularly scheduled thing, um, or just a stream for funsies? I don't know. I think we, like, this was kind of a test for us, to be completely mm-hmm. honest. Um, We've never streamed before. We've yeah. never done anything live. Um, and I, I I, feel like this was good. This I had was a lot, a lot of, of fun. fun. This, this was, was great. very, very fun. So I, I definitely think there's going to be uh, more mm-hmm. live streaming in the future. Um, possibly with your brother? Yeah, I think that's definitely yeah, possible. I think it might um, be the three of us yeah. um, doing something. Um, not sure when. Mm-hmm. Um, we need to uh, work that out. Yeah, and we just um, need to sort through like some tech things and see like what worked well, what yeah. didn't, and so we can improve for the future. But yeah, we'll definitely be streaming again. Yeah, sweet. And awesome. I think that's it. Guys, thank you so, so much yes, for coming out you. and watching this play Monster Prom. Hope you and enjoyed. Like, yeah. I had so much fun. This was great. It's so like, cool. Like, I really enjoyed so this. Fun. Oh my gosh. And, uh, like, your support has just been amazing. Like, mm-hmm. all, the amount of support we've been getting has just been crazy. Apparently, there's even more marriages. What is happening? How does this happen? I don't know. There's so many people. <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations to everyone, seriously. Um, and, um, and thank you guys. Yeah. And again, once more, thank you to Julian and Evan who have been taking care of chat and all of our off screen shenanigans. We really appreciate it. You guys are incredible. You guys Thanks are so for phenomenal. Us, people. Yeah, yeah, you guys are phenomenal. Woo! So, so good. Um, yeah, I think that's all right. it. Thank you, good. folks. All right. Thanks, guys. Bye. Bye.